Hi! Oh my god, I saw that my mic did not lit up. Anyways, ahem. Let's... <laughs> let's go back from the beginning, shall we? I'm sure that you guys probably see my, um... <laughs> I don't know if the subs did register what I said, but, um... As I was saying, I am very excited. It's their release. Steam sale, uh, not Steam sale, but like Steam release. Uh, yesterday, uh, for me, but for you guys, it's today, and I'm super excited. Um, the team worked really hard, and you know, uh, they did add a lot of new things. Even though I'm a part of the team, I do not know the added content contents because, like, I only wrote specific things as a writer, so. I don't particularly know what they added, but I do know that there are new things. It's just I'm super excited! Oh my gosh! I really apologize for that. My mic went poof. I thought I had the mic on. Sometimes um Steel Series GG reads a lot of mic. I don't know how to like turn it off or whatever. But um yeah. So far, um what else? I did chose normal because like there's a lot of new things that I am not aware of. They did add extra scenes, extra what do you say? Like there's extra recruiter recruitments, I guess, which is I'm not really aware of, or I would say I'm not aware of because like I didn't really, you know, I only skimmed the patch notes. I think that's also because like I don't want to get spoiled. Uh, good to, so good to see you. Gotta walk the dogs. So I'll see you in a bit. Sure thing. Have fun, Satan, buddy. I hope you take care with the doggies. I I played with the dogs downstairs because like they were cleaning my um my air conditioning unit. Yeah. Anywho, um I did pin um Protostar Twilight. If you guys wanna check it out, please do. And since I'm on the part of the team, I can't leave a review, obviously, because I like, guess a conflict of interest. <laughs> so yeah, if you guys do like my playthrough or interested to play the game and you, you know, kinda enjoy it, please do leave a review. So uh, a lot of um Holo Stars developers might get interested, you know? Mm hmm Anyways, back again, I'll read the in instructions here. We are aware of a bug that can cause the game to crash after the credits play. This is a known bug in the game engine that has yet to be fixed and may occur when either playing the game for a long period of time and or when running a VTuber model. Unfortunately, we cannot pinpoint the exact cause of the issue as it also appears to be hardware specific. We suggest making a save on the turn before clearing the final map just in case of a crash. To avoid losing progress. I thank you and we appreciate y'all. Yay! Yeah. Okay, so SRPG is... I would say... Um, it's a very old engine, so please do give them a slack. Um, I think... There's a lot of things that could be done better, but it's usually just the engine itself. It's very old. <laughs> it's same with um, RPG Maker, really. It's, it's, it's a very old engine. There's a lot of limitations of each engines that are provided, so... You know, please be aware that pre please be aware. While this project is very loosely based on the lore of Polar Stars English, it is purely fan made and not intended to be considered canonical. Content warning: uh, Please, guys, if you are not into these, please do um, leave the stream. You know, especially flashing lights. It's I don't think it's that bad. There's no flashing lights. At least the last time I did play. It's more like uh, maybe fl a m movement of images when there's a critical scene, which is, you know, they it do it does like whoosh around and maybe, you know, people who have motion sickness might, you know, get affected. But yeah, violent languages, it's okay. We curse in this household. I curse like a sailor. Yar, have you heard me? <laughs> have you heard me curse all the time? Distressing themes, yes, there's a lot of it. Body horror, claustrophobia, graphic violence such as blood, yep. Gore, swearing, and adult language. And mention of self-harm, death, and torture. Hello, that's Stroke. Hello, welcome, welcome, hello. This game is best played with the controller, but certain menus are better viewed playing with the mouse and keyboard. We received a quest five days ago. Some strange phenomenon is happening in a... In a smaller town, not too far away. 
There was no name on the request. It was simply signed a friend. Now, some might say we shouldn't accept such a cryptic quest, but we have no choice. The reward was too good to overlook. It won't hurt to check out and see if we can handle it, right? Man, being broke sucks. Oh my god, real! Once you're an adult, you are extremely broke as <laughs> fuck. Hi, Deathstroke, I'm doing fine. We just cleaned a lot. We have a, an impromptu general cleaning, I guess. My air conditioning is um, cleaned up. Um, my I have new bed sheets. I have I don't know. Um, I I also cleaned up my room a bit. So yeah, that's basically it. There we go. Title drop here. Protostar Twilight. Let's go. Act zero. Writer Felix Wolf. Conversation writer Nix. Artist is Chen Jiju. There we go. Let me know if if you guys can hear the game audio. Oh, there we go. Uh, I think I did have it on max, I would say. It's a sunny day in the higher mountains of Elysium. This mountain, in particular, is the mysterious peak at the heart of their quest. People complain of a strange sensation if they ever come too close to it. The mountain named the mountain is named the Traveler. No one knows why. Gee, I wonder why. You usually often travel in forests, don't you think? <laughs> the name was whispered long before anyone lived here. After scouting, Shinri and Flayon gave the green light. The area was safe. At noon, Tempest gathered near the cliffs to begin investigating. There you are. Flayon and I have been waiting for you guys. All good? Did you get any information? Vesper is the first to arrive, together with Axel, the rest of the team and a few yards behind them. The scholar's expression is thoughtful as he thinks over Shinri's questions. Mm, it's a bit odd. Story's the same, but there are a lot of unique details. Some complained about headaches the moment they got too close to the mountain. Some mentioned falling ill for a few days. And a handful mentioned panic attacks at night when they slept near the mountain. Crops take longer, they taste like crap. All sort of thing, you know? Do you think it's the work of a pissed off witch or mage? No, nice, maybe. Hmm. Them cursing a mountain isn't too unusual. <laughs> Certain types of dragons could do this, especially elder elemental ones. Dang it, Gerard, it's always you! Just kidding. Hi, Cindy, hello! Hi! Hi, 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 hello! Welcome, welcome! Or maybe the people are just kind of paranoid? When Vesper asked, a few guys even started to cry before he even finished his sentence. Oh my god, he's like, where he hates us! Ooh. Fairy tales can be a great way to keep people under control, you know? Possible, but unlikely. Fairy tales don't just appear out of nowhere. There's always a reason. Oh my god, it's mommy! Mom! Hi, mommy! Magni walks up to Betel, who holds Phantom between his hands like a hamburger. Actually, why would you hold your... Da cat dog dog cat cat dog dog cat cat dog with one eye like a hamburger it's not a hamburger unhand him sounds like people really do fear something they can't even see maybe a mournful spirit hmm. the rest of the team follows close behind in good spirits i was thinking about that too flayon but I can't sense any spirits roaming around here. It's Fant Burger. Oh my god. Fant Burger. Actually, somebody did make like a a Phantom Burger, didn't they? Or was it like a, a Phantom Cake? I, I forgot. It was a fan made food thing, which is it, it, it was extremely interesting. I don't know. It was either an art or somebody did bake or not bake. Um 
Yeah, you big bread, right? <laughs> He's like, yeah. Wimbies, protostar. Hee <laughs> hi, fleshy. Hello. Hello, hello. Look, look, it's it's mommy. Look. <laughs> I was thinking about that too, Flan, but I can't sense any spirits roaming around here. At least, not the kind that would cause these problems. Hmm. Haka sighs deeply as Altair arrives with his phone in his hand, hastily typing something. Well, that just means we have to figure it out ourselves. Ready to get the job done, Altair points at Axel. Here he is! Hi! It's like... <laughs> I'm just like, hi dad, hi dad. <laughs> don't look, I'll try to look. <laughs> Axel, can you check out on the area near the cliff with Haka and Flagon? Yes, so will. Sure thing, boss, no problem. Axel jokingly salutes, then pulls both Haka and Flayon by the wrist towards the cliff. Ooh. Everyone hears Flayon complaining as the group leaves. Hmm. I want to check out that section over there. Maybe Shinra and Flayne overlooked something. Magni, Beto, would you like to do me the honor of joining me? Sure thing, Vespi. Come on, Phantom, let's check some stuff out. No problem. Nah, yeah, they're so cool. Ah, nah, 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 nah. Don't spread out too much, alright? This is unknown territory. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. Yeah, yeah, I get it. No splitting up. Man, what do you think this is? A horror game? <coughs> you think so? <laughs> Don't jinx that! It's always like that. <laughs> Snorting. Magni waves at Altair, leaving him with Shinri, who struggles to hide a smile. Oh my god, he's just like me, for real, for real. <laughs> what? What are you smiling at, huh? Nothing. Just enjoying the moments we spend together as a guild. Aww. Do you want to check out the other area? Yeah. Let's see if we can find something that help us figure this out. Three hours passed. No one finds anything that'll help figure this out. Nope. Flayon joins the team with his face f puffy and his arms crossed. Oh, he's like a hissy cat. Nothing. We found nothing. This is getting annoying. I'm getting the feeling that this is all just a huge joke. Understandable, but we should continue the search. Ugh, do we really have to? I mean... We've been searching for hours and we've all... Found our sticks and stones. Of course, it's the pillow princess complaining. Nyan, hi, hi, Bain, hello, 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 hi. And Phantom probably is, too, right, Flant? Bell suddenly looks freaked out. You good? Did you see a ghost or something? Phantom isn't here. He was. I I I'm sure he took him with me when we headed back. I remember him walking around when. I remember him walking next to you when we were when we returned. Maybe he found something. Hang on, don't worry, I can find him. Just, just give me one second. Flan raises up a hand and draws something into the air, creating a scene of out of nothing. Oh, he has like his his you know like his doodads, his his holograms and stuff. Okay, for those who haven't really stayed long in. You know, the Tempest fandom, or just like Whole Stories Ian alone. Uh, they do have two types of magic, apparently. They have the traditional magic and the hologram magic. Um, the hologram magic is often used as a fortification, or just like regular stuff, technology, and whatever. If you guys have followed through specific um, lore, like, um, Flayon's, uh, Canis Minor, uh, lore video, and also, um, Mama or Magni's, 
um, Alchemist Prologue, they were some sort of schoolmates. And um, Altair, I believe, at the time, was um, studying hologram magic along with traditional magic. And um, Vesper is actually a, a scholar slash a part of the instructors who did teach in the academy. This is always called back and always um, referenced in the other's lore story. So yeah. Yeah, I know it's 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 a very amazing. Um, I do know that it's been a while. It's almost, you guys, it's almost. I would believe four years ever since, or was it like three years? Three to four years ever since we have been with Tempest, and it's so. I I do know that a lot of people probably forgot about those uh, specific details, but I still remember. I actually wrote a lot of like um, lore threads, and I've been referenced as a as a source for these specific things but actually the one who did drop the hardest lore or basically the basis of their composition was Altair um, they are a part of a triangle like a constellation triangle such as um, Summer Triangle for Altair, Magni, and Vesper or you know the Tanabata Trio they are the Tanabata Trio and um, I believe Betel Fleon and Axel are a part of the Winter Triangle, which is um I don't I do know that um Ruz did call his cat Arcturus. Um but there's a lot of like speculation what Armis is and which constellations they are, but um lore wise it's basically that. They were a part of triangles. So far there's still no uh spring triangle it's only um summer and winter which is you'd be surprised um battle and flayon was released on winter i believe and um the boys were released during summer i i if i recall correctly that's why it's it's like that yes yes exactly pro pro Sion, sirius and belgus yes that's that's what they were and um I know people, even even Magni was like, "Are you serious? What do you mean? My name is Deneb. He doesn't. He didn't want to be called Deneb, <laughs> but he is Deneb of the summer uh, of the summer triangle. And Vesper is, um, I believe, what was like Vesper again? I do know that he's he's a part of the triangle. I, I forgot his his name, but I do know that Altair is Altair himself, and." <laughs> He wanted to actually have an eagle um, Oshi mark. However, um, apparently, uh, according to you know, allegedly, it's not confirmed. But um, the reason why he was not able to be an eagle is it's it was already reserved as a, as an Oshi mark. So Altair had to either choose as a sparkler or the diamond uh, symbol, which is unfortunately. Uh, Twitter does not approve of putting in your name. So he settled with this sparkler as his Oshi mark. Oh, there we go. Vega. He is Vega. There we go. Altair, Vega, and the Neb. They, these are the Summer Triangle. Oh my gosh. I'm, I <laughs> I'm so sorry. I d <laughs> it's, it's very nostalgic, I would say. I know people... You know, most of majority or, you know, the active people nowadays are um, VG fans. So they probably aren't aware of the specific lore. I actually got interested in Tempest before. It's because, like, they had a more RPG-esque aesthetic. And they remind me of Etrian Odyssey, which, by the way, Shinri did reference Etrian Odyssey in his debut. Which is, I like it. You know, it's, I, I don't know, like, there's not a lot of people who are very into dungeon crawlers. Especially if they were, like, a corporate VTuber. I feel like they're kind of embarrassed to admit that they are, like, Oh, I like games and I'm kind of being a nerd or whatever. But I think, um, the choice of cover that they picked more older, um, talents is, it's, it's refreshing, you know? Because it's, it makes it more authentic or... 
Because like I don't think I can really understand young young ones. <laughs> I would say. Um that's why I I never really liked male VTubers until Tempest came. Because they remind me back then when Twitch was more of like Justin TV. It was just podcasts and boys being stupid. That was all the things that was important. And I was like, yeah, I like Tempest. It's it's so reminiscent of that day where everybody is just like stupid boys playing games, doing podcasts, making jokes. I don't know. It, it's it's fun like that. I don't know. It's it's a long lost feeling for people who are, you know, like me, I'm really old. <laughs> so and I'm kind of like a terminally online, so I'm more of like familiar with um, podcasts and groups like na Nichi Jogumi or um, Minecraft no Nichi Jo folks, which is in the Japanese side. That's basically I think that re did remind me of Tempest before. So yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I love it. They have this nostalgic feeling of yelled internet days. Exactly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I don't know. They, their friendship and camaraderie is very... Like, you feel jealous because it's very genuine. Like, whenever they talk about each other, you could feel the love in their in their voice, you know? Like, it's not like, ooh, gay. I, I'm a shipper, okay? I'm a, I'm a fujo. I will admit, okay? But... Their friendship is extremely strong, and I hope that people do respect that um, they're just best friends. And they should be friends even outside the, you know, the VTubing part. And, I don't know, it makes it less, like, it's kind of forced. Like, their friends is, like, their friendship isn't forced. It's very, like, you could feel their, their enjoyment and their laughter is like, I don't know, it's, it's what makes it very worthwhile to watch them. And it's I find it hard to not support them, you know? <laughs> like Like you wanna root for them, because like they're just friends. <laughs> yeah! Always nice to see genuine joy. That's true, Fleshy, that's why. I don't know, that's why like um when I when I see them being goofy in 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 Proto Star Twilight, I, I get it's it's a nostalgic feeling. I do know that they're it's Three years isn't that long, I would say, for other people. But for me, for for all of us at least, for long time uh, Tempura fans, they're it's 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 a it's a fun experience, and it it feels like we've been you know we we've known each other for almost like five years now. But it's not the case. <laughs> we've it's it's just a short time yet. It feels like we've been through a lot. You know, you know what I'm saying. There he is, just around the corner. Like, a two-minute walk away from us, near the cliff. What the hell is Phantom doing there all alone? Gah, it doesn't matter. Let's go get him. Well... Maybe if you really found something, he's waiting for us. Well, time to pick the doggy up. <gasps> Ooh... With Flayon in the lead, Tempest makes their way back to find Phantom. What's with that face, Haka? Honestly? I don't know. There's something weird in the air. Weird? Like a corruption beast, maybe? Now that you mention it... Yeah! Man, this is super specific. How do you know? Because I'm getting the same feeling. Ah. I like how cute he is. I like their sprites. They're so adorable. Their conversation ends the moment they finally find Phantom. He sits near the cliff, staring into the abyss. Hey, Phantom! There you are, little guy. Gently, Battle picks Phantom up. Holding him like a sack of potatoes. Again! It's like the sack of potatoes in a burger! Leave the guy alone! <laughs> cute bourbon dog. Yeah, cute bourbon dog.
Hey, uh, Altair? Yeah? Can we go home? You good? I know you're not necessarily the biggest fan of quests like this, but... Uh, I'm worried about Phantom. He's been acting strange ever since we got close to that cliff here. It's like... He's not really... Here, you know? I'm worried this year might be having an effect on him. Will you allow me to observe Phantom to ease your mind? Vesper carefully approaches Phantom in Bell's arms, but stops midway. Just then, he turns his head to his left, glaring into the woods. Someone's coming. They're close by. <gasps> I see them right there. <gasps> Nani! Nani! Between the dark shadows of the trees, a hooded man em emerges. Oh my god! Ah! Hoo! <laughs> From beneath the hood, they can, they can make out a cold, dead smile as he stops. <gasps> Almost immediately, Altair moves in front of his team and holds his gun saber at the ready. <gasps> Who are you? Why are you here? That was you, wasn't it? The quest? Did you send that quest to come here? Oh crap. It's a trap? But he's all alone. He can't beat us all, right? I don't know. Maybe. I wouldn't taste... I wouldn't test fate too much, Axel. Stay on your guard. I Got it, Gramps. Right back at ya. Of course, who do you take me for? Enough, Dilly Dally. I've waited long enough for your arrival. Now, it's time to take action. What's your deal, bro? You got a problem with us? <laughs> like, what's your damage? <laughs> Bruh. Silence, clown. <gasps> Silence! You clown! You graduated from clown school! <laughs> Yo! Hi, Likers! Hello! It's time for battle, not meaningless chatter. <gasps> I can't believe it! Slander! He's he's slandering him! <laughs> a clown? I'm a just... <laughs> Why don't you just... Tell us what you want. The rogue man scoffs at that and lifts his hand in front of him to point at Altair. No. I don't think I will. It's far too early from that. Y you guys know the, e the Edelgard voice from... Um, from Three Houses? It's kind of like this ear. Like, no, I don't think I will. It's far too early from that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god, they, they should voice act this game. Please, cover. Please let them voice act this game. Please, 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 please. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Clown school is a high prestige school. Put some respect in its name. <laughs> yeah. But he's a jester. He's not a clown. He's a jester. He's a royal jester. He he, he does juggle and, and he, he plays the, the loot. He, he does the she strums the loot, be a silly old man, be a clown, you know what I mean? It's a figurative speech. <laughs> early? Yes, early. For the time being, why don't you all have a bit of fun with one of my pets? <gasps> a deep roar reverberates through the air, and the ground beneath the boys begin to quake. Aye! Uh. I'm not sure if I like that sound. Agreed. Maybe it's time to retreat? I don't think so. Come to me, my puppet. Oh my god, it's Octavio! Just kidding. <laughs> Octavio mentioned! Just <laughs> A billowing cloud of pure black smoke seeps from the ground and gathers behind the robed man. <gasps> Yenny. Oh my god, it's... it's... It's a CG! Look, guys! It's so cool! Show them your power. Crush them! Okay! 
the smoke coalesces, taking a large demonic corporeal form. Ready up! Let's show this guy the power of Guild Tempest! Woohoo! Yay! Hell yeah, you got it, boss man! <gasps> okay. Let's just save in, in advance. And then you can check the units. Look! I wrote this! I wrote this! <laughs> and I wrote this too! <laughs> He used to have like a, a an elixir, but it got caught. It, it got cut off, you know. It got cut off from the game. But I did write most of it. But mostly, it's just like Altair and Magnus items. Yeah, I'm, I love my parents. It's like items. Yay. Octavio looking taller. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Octavio. He has stilts. He has stilts on. <laughs> Look at this. Jerry says hi. <gasps> you know, he has lots of like weapons because like Fleon is very cool like that. Oh yeah, Chuny be a looking ass boys. <laughs> you can also like trade stuff too. Alright, so um you can't basically hit this guy, I think. But it might have been changed. Who knows? It's so giant! Like, it's so big! First battle jitters, eh? It's fine. We'll take it one step at a time. First things first. You gotta learn how to move. Okay, seems simple enough. How do I do that exactly? First, click on the unit you want to move. Then, drag yourself to where you want to go. And press the confirm button. Try a straight line. It should look something like this. Oh, there you go. That was easy. Can I use this with the other gal members too? Yeah, it's the same principle. Try moving Magni get and get him beside you. Ah, yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm okay. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Okay, now that you can move, you can go for an attack when you're next to an enemy. Make sure you observe your opponent carefully before you attack. They're next to each other! <laughs> okay, so observe the enemy. Wait. What's with the map? Whisper, there's lots of numbers. That's your combat stats. Crit, attack, and all that JC nerd stuff. You can look it up later in your journal. Just focus on the big number at the top. Let's begin important. Hmm. That's strange. I thought that they fixed it. Because usually, um, if I recall correctly, um, there should be uh, a damage here, like a multiplier here. Like for example, like you're supposed to attack uh, an enemy, but it should see, it should show you the numbers and the damage that would deal if you fight it. But you know, maybe. Hmm. Well, I think Koopa probably is aware of this, but um, I I'll show you what I mean in in a bit. Got a couple more people in there, so. Oh my god, <laughs> he created, <laughs> he created. Nice one. My turn. Watch this. Wait, this. Ay! Need healing. Wait, didn't don't I have a potion with me? Vesper, where did you put the potions? Red or green? Greens for healing, reds for stat boost. You'll find them in your bag. Hope this helps. Yippee! Thanks, man. Good job. One last thing. Terrain effects. Terrain like grass and other stuff can help you in battle. For example, grass helps you avoid hits. You can find the rest of the nerd stuff in your journal later. Remember to check it out now and then. Got it. Thanks, Vesper. Review useful information to the journal command on the Bible menu. Review important information to the info tab on the battle prep screen. Check things that stands out. Curiosity is often rewarded. Okay, so usually it's supposed to like um 
Hold on. Uh, I think... It should show you this. Like, that, that. It should show you that, I believe, but I'm not really sure. Because, like, um... In the tutorial, it says, like, it has a lot of maths and numbers. It should show you these. So, um... If you guys are not familiar with, um... Tactics games or... Fire Emblem games... So... The blue on the left is you, and then the right is where your enemy is. You have to be careful with the hit... Because it depends on the, um, enemy. It might... Be able to hit your ass very hard if you're not careful. So so far, Altair will deal 24 damage with um with a sure guarantee that it'll hit. But um Fire Breath, on the other hand, has an 82% chance of um you know hitting. But even if that's the case, Tactic games are very, you know, it's very sporadic in RNG, so you have to be very careful and know your limitations. I know that we're not playing the hard mode, so it's not really, you know... It's not really that hard to think about it, but if you guys are thinking of like playing this in hard mode, you do have to be very careful and do um, consider these numbers as something to think about, I would say. Mm -hmm. Also, oh, um, as you can see here, grass uh, at the bottom right it says avoid plus twenty, so it does help you dodge specific attacks. You can also check the terrain at the bottom. See, there's road. There's no um. There's no stat boost, but um. There's also shrooms that does affect defense and your resistance. And um, flowers as well. It's, you know, it, it's a couple of like things that are very um, specific, I would say. Yeah. <laughs> I like talking about like these because it's one of my favorite, you know. It's one of my favorite things. Go, Aniki! Go beat his ass up! Point. Oh my god. Double spear, yeah, it, it does double attack. Okay, so, um, Haka, I believe, does two, does attack twice. So you gotta be careful. Here, um... Yeah. Get wrecked! I tired this. Playtime's over. Damn right it is, you're going down, buddy! Ayy! No! Bevel, you might get hit! No! I don't think you understand the situation you're in. Why don't you show them? The dragon roars fiercely, paralyzing the entire guild and forcing them to their knees. Beneath them, the ground begins to quake again. But this time, cracks begin to form in the dirt. <gasps> I hope you all enjoy the experience of a lifetime. Suddenly, the, gra the dragon takes flight. Hovering several feet above the ground. I know I will. Before anyone can blink, the dragon drops its full weight back into the cliffside. <gasps> Altair can do nothing but watch helplessly as the cliff shatters, dropping them into a deep chasm. End of Act Zero. Act 1. Act writer Nyx and conversation writer Nyx, too. Okay. Artist Lumi Skuro. After falling down the hole, 
Altair's consciousness has fallen deep into the ether. Five more minutes. Unfortunately for the leader of the Tempest Guild, the room full of crystal is too cold and bright. His body awakens with a jolt. The gold's finally getting to him. Wh where am I? Groggily, Altair stands up and wanders through the dungeon. Some of the shadows come from the light of his armor, while others are from the distant crystals. Altair's armor glows even more. More signs to be very careful. However, Altair doesn't expect a human-looking shadow lying a few feet away. The shadow is thin and looks, a and looks like it has a lot of garments on it. Altair goes for a closer look. Wait... Is that who I think it is? <gasps> Ma, no! It's the great Magni Desmond, unconscious, beaten, but the alchemist nonetheless. Oh my god! Altair grabs the green potion, letting a few drops of the liquid touch Magni's lips. Fuck! <laughs> Magni, can you hear me? I know they wrote this for the almond boys. I know. The alchemist in question wakes up slowly, trying to get up without hurting himself more. <laughs> Come on, guy. Come on, guys. Be, be, be serious. <laughs> be serious. <laughs> Dude, wait. Altair? Where are we? Where's the others? I don't know that either. Best we can do right now is just keep exploring. The fact that the alchemist is still in pain doesn't help. Nor the shadows growing behind them. I have a bad feeling about this. Bad feeling about what? Shadow monsters! Wait, what? Shadow monsters! Please tell me if you've got extra potions in there, Altair. The shadows have two guild members cornered. We have to fight them off. Look at them! I'm gonna save it here. Oh, I'm gonna fight. I'm gonna fight, yeah. You have to be careful with this guy. Defeat the general. Everyone is defeated. A strange sensation is in the air. It seems coming from the east. Might be worth taking a look. Is this the one? I see like there's like a, a, f a flame. Mamars. You have to be careful with this one because he does poison people. Mummers. And they can actually talk. Hee hee. Hee hee. Hee hee. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Oh shit. Wait, what the hell? What the fuck? What the fuck? Okay. Give me a, give me a moment. Um... Uh, where's the, the thing? There we go. I, I kind of want to, like, be careful, because, um... You, you can, you know, you can fuck this shit up. But I'm really curious about this. I think it's okay. There's no turn limit, I believe. It's just, like, 9 to 9 turns, and I think I can do this. Oh, shit, it can scream. Talk. <laughs> how you're how you're holding up this? Any injuries so far? No, nothing. And even if I had been injured, do you think I, the great Magni Desmond, wouldn't have healed my wounds by now? Alright, that's good then. You'll tell me if you'll get hurt though, right? Yeah, yeah, I got it, you big worry wart. Now let's focus on the battle at hand. We're not gonna let we're not gonna get out of here by talking all day. Fuck! Ah, 
Let's get rid of that thing and go find our boys. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. So funny like that. You found a fragment of the fragment appeared in Altair's inventory. Demon King's Crest. <laughs> oh my god. I need to I need to beat this guy. I, I need to beat them up. First we need to We need to be careful too. Corrosive crystals are a big no no, but they can help us too. Um We'll leave it here. Alright. Okay, um... I don't want... Okay, the thing is with, with Mom, he's very... Soft, I would say. He is very squishy as a unit. So you have to be very careful that, you know, like sending him out there. But you can also like check out... Uh, hold on, give me a memo. Oops, my bad. That does it. No! No, 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 no. I meant to do that. Okay, so... I think I can move d Dad here. And then... I could put Mom here. No! Oh my god, no, 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 no! No, 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 no! Ah! Dang it, I forgot about this guy! Oh my gosh, Mama, no, 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 no! You're not gonna do that. Wait, he's the general. Wait, 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 wait. Shit, shit, shit. Okay, we can't, we can't kill him yet. We need to get to these items and then the 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 lore stuff. Shit. Okay. Um, the thing is with mom, he kind of needs help. I mean, we could restart this. We could restart the whole entire thing, and then we could just like swipe. I mean, I don't mind taking a little bit more time. So, um, we have to keep this guy alive. Ugh, that's so annoying, though. There you go. You know what? I, I could, I could just like kill him right now for the meantime, and then we could just like start the whole thing. Okay. Hold on. Sorry, sorry guys. I might, I might need to skip. Skip. I might, I might need to skip. I, I won't read it yet. Shh, 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 shh. I need to skip. I need to skip it. Wait, hold on. Actually, can I just like exit the game? I don't think there's like. Was it C? There we go. G give me a moment. Hold on. 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 I can't. I can't do this. Hold on. No, give me a moment. Okay, don't worry about that. Bye. Yeah. I'll take this. Okay, so first and foremost, <clears throat> we need to be careful not to trigger his um steps cuz it it's kind of hard, I guess, if that's the case. Okay. We go up. Okay, we go up. Meow. Okay, mom. Okay, gotta wait. Ow! Jesus! Alright, okay. Um, we are not gonna step here. Okay, so as I told you guys, um, the, the terrain does matter. And if you do step on the corrosive crystals, it does take damage. So you just gotta... Be patient and not go there. There we go. And then... 
basically what I did before was um I I believe um I cleared this path but I need to like lure these guys out without triggering him because I will go around and get this um fragment I would say I mean I'm I'm planning to also 100% this cuz like um I'm a loot goblin I would say I'm very stubborn when it comes to like tactic games um could move here. Check. When? I feel like I left one of those tanks again. Awareness? Time? Pain? What's this feeling in my stomach? When did all these crystal shards start to grow on me too? What did Leader do to me last time I saw him again? Where did he go? Oh, that way. I heard them. My friends are back? Did Leader figure out how to get out of her? To get them out? I hear the echoes of their voice again. I've seen their forms walking through the caverns. How do I remember? I have to keep it together. I have to warn them. Leader has many ideas now. His mind seems to be lost. Ah, shit. Hold on. Uh, was it a journal? Here we go. It's this one. Uh huh. There we go. It's or has it changed? He isn't gentle tempered as he used to be. He wants to dominate and gain control over everything. He became the boss of this place. <laughs> okay. Okay, and also it's also a good way to level up too anyway, so I'm I'm just like gonna bait specific things. Okay, mom. Oh wait, right, we can talk to mom. Hold on. Alright, um We do get avoid and defense if we do camp around here, but I'm not really sure if they're gonna summon more, I would say. Huh. Attack. Dang, look at you go! Ooh, we got a good um, stat on that. Mom is a bit squishy, so we'll, we will wait. Okay. Yoink! Yeah, they're kind of a bit scary, not gonna lie. Check. Pebble? We can take a pebble? I didn't know that. <laughs> okay. Okay, um We are I, I guess um hmm I think dad might need to check this out instead since it is the demon demon king crest, I believe. So I don't think mom should stay here. Okay, I'll leave it here. Look at him go! Look at his stats! Oh, look at him go! Okay. Test. Crystal record. There we go. Um. We've got a couple ah. more people to murder, so. Damn, look at you go! He keeps leveling up. Look at him go! We're leveling up! Okay, 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 okay. Uh, now that we have that, we need to drink healing potions. Okay, okie dokie. Um, I think mom should stay here. We will meet up around here, uh, like a rendezvous, I would say. There, see? You also need to take advantage of these two. Um, even though it doesn't say as such that you get X, uh, EHP, um, you, you do get a lot from healing crystals, and then corrosive crystals does, um, I think they do 10 damage every time, every turn that you stay there, so you gotta be careful. 
Uh-oh. Uh -oh. My bad. Free heals! Let's go! There we go. Demon King's Crest. I see something shiny, I take it. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> Alright, so let's bait Let's bait him And then I'll be close Uh-huh Wait, th th does Mama like a... Oh, there we go, special mix Get bombarded, nerd! Some ra some items can be used to grant a skill. Try using the recipe book on Magni next unit management screen. Alright, now we read the, the thing. Sorry about that. <laughs> that was a close one. If you didn't have those healing potions, I think I'd be done for. The two guild members walk deeper into the cave as the walls close in at every step. The blue blob appears near. <laughs> Hold on, I think I need to turn off my um my Steam layout. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, let me. How do I turn this off? Actually, fucking hell. You know what? Who cares? <laughs> A blue blob appears nearby as they get out of one of the narrower sections. Look at that! It's 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 a slime, a slimy. I'll tear. If this is about me being too tight... What? What? What... What did he mean by this? <laughs> Altair, do you see that blob? He just like changes like a fucking... It changes topics like, uh... Look! A blob! <laughs> Ow! Yeah! No, ouch! How could you? Don't throw stuff at me! The blob in question is a small slime, looking like an adventurer with small spikes. If you got vesties in the belfry... Altair turns and sees the blue slime. Oh, that blob! It looks friendly! Indeed, the blob is cute. It keeps staring at Altair, as, as if waiting for something to happen. The guy looks safe enough. I guess it didn't hurt to get close. Magni has still his weapons ready in case it attacks. And Altair slowly starts singing. <gasps> it's smiling! Aww! Keep singing to it. You could get it calm enough. We could take the little guy as a companion. We, we can do that? It's in the journal, remember? Altair keeps singing to the little slime, and after he asks if it wants to join them, it smiles and makes a blob-like sound. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> I, uh, I love to come with you guys! Boop, 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 boop. I guess we're bringing him with us then. We could either put him in your pack, or we could have him out and about. I think he'll like it more out and about, won't you? Our intrepid members keep going further in, not knowing what could happen next. Maybe their little slime companion would prove useful. End of Act One. No, no, we, 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 we did it. <laughs> Wait, did we, we did we get all of the chest? Did we? Did we? Did we get all of the chest items? Uh, I, I kind of forgot. I think I did. Maku, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Hello. Hi! Hello, hello! I'm gonna save it here, just to be sure. Act 2. Act writer Scenic Sander and conversation writer Al Song. An artist by Sky Limit. Sky Wimmy! Wimmy mentioned! Wimmy! Are you here, Wimmy? Wimmy!
Mm. Wh where is this? Where am I? Haka sits up, rubbing his sore back and looking around, talking, taking in the stagnant air. It's cold, and only light coming from the iridescent strange crystal lining the walls. Ugh, my head is killing me! Did I fall down somewhere? What are the others in- How- Ugh! As he stands, he nearly crumples again from the crippling sensation. It's as if the darkness outside is trying to crawl inside him, pushing and pulling at his body. A fleeting image flashes behind his eyelids. A beast, cloaked in black feathers, and so, so hungry. Doppelganger mission is kidding. <laughs> Doppelganger. Doppelganger. Oh, speaking of, you guys should try Doppelganger too. <laughs> um, it's it's another like um a game made by the management of Hollow Stars English. You guys should try it out. Double mention. I saw a leader. I followed. Can't wait to play this game. How is it? Uh... <laughs> Uh, I, I'm saying this as unbiased as I could because I'm a part of the team, so I don't want to like, you know, dissuade you guys. Um, I would say um, it has a lot of consideration with the lore that's given to us. Although it's not canonical, it's very, um, I would say... It's, it's very apt, I would say. Like, it's very respectful towards the lore that was provided so far. By the boys, and we just went went along with some specific details. You know, we're just filling in the blanks. But so far, um, the game is good. But please do take it as a game yourself because I am a part of the team. <laughs> so um, I, it's best that you should try this out yourself. <laughs> Based money, yes, they're they're really cool, and I think the fact that. One of the managers that were actually like, um, were good at Renpi, I believe. Um, was it Chihuahua Money who basically coded the game? I forgot. But, um, the entire team of, um, Hollow Stars English basically, uh, created a game. It's a very, I would say it's a very much a passion project. And I do know that there are a lot of, like, um, Things that are a bit broken, especially like the um, achievements. But if you guys do need help with the achievements and how to unlock the ones that are stuck, you know, that it's not reading through the Steam uh, servers, you do have to check my guide. I did write a guide about it, so, you know. <laughs> I'm just like shamelessly plug my, my fucking guide about fucking Doppelganger, my bad. But um, yeah, it is one of my favorite games. I do have it as my, as my pinned favorite, but in terms of like Protostar Twilight, like this game in general, um, it's more of a lore centric game. Uh, there are goofy parts here and the here and there, but um, but yeah, it we we mostly ran through the lore that was provided by us from the boys, and we just filled in the blanks and we started to make a story about it. Um, a big big shout out to Felix Wolf for also um organizing and you know. Making this game a reality. Yep. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna try it. Yes, please do. I do have it pinned in my um in my chat. Please do check it out. You have nothing to pay for, it's basically free. So yeah, please do check it out. And f if you do guys like the game so far, since I can't leave a review, obviously, since like I said, I'm a part of the team, you guys could try and leave a review as well. If only if you, you know. You, you guys liked it and played it too. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Ugh. <laughs> oh no! Hackers! Just as the pressure becomes unbearable, threatening to bruise his skin and crush his bones, it fades somewhat. But a little more tolerable, akin to a small tension headache. The lingering ache leaves Haka more irritated than perturbed. Damn it. I need to pull myself together. I don't have time for this. I need to find the others. Uh, 
Battle. Shinri. Fleon. Is anyone there? Nothing answers. There's only the darkness. The ache from before and a horrible silence. Belatedly, it occurs to him that even if the others were here, he wouldn't be able to see them. Perhaps supplies a voice in his head. They are here, but they can't hear you. He ignores it and stubbornly tries again. A few hours pass, at least according to Haka. Also, hi Bane! Hello! I'm doing pretty much fine. I'm pretty parched right now. Uh, I don't have water with me since I think I kind of drank all of it before stream, but um I might take a break after act two mostly just to get some water downstairs and I will continue the game mm -hmm. I will I would try my best to at least finish the game in one go if not well We could do a two-parter of this game. Mm -hmm. I do know that there are extras and there are secrets and I am very determined to get them all like i swear to god um hoopa did his very best to add these um extra parts into the game so i will do my best to find all of the secrets that he laid for us mm -hmm. he's actually one of the coders of um protostar twilight so please also uh check him out i'm not really sure if he actually has uh, has a twitch um, account, but he does have a Twitter. Actually, let me link, let me link it, cause like you know, respect to the coders. I I really respect coders in general. Um, happy vain glory. Here he is. Here's our coder. Uh, one of our f best guys out there, Hoopa. Here he is, Hoopers. Yeah. He's the one who actually uh, coded this game, like I said, and he added a lot of stuff. There's also like, at least other programmers that did assist um, Koopa, but um, he did at least um, learn the code from scratch, I believe. Or, you know, I think he does have a little bit of understanding, but he's. I think this is his first foray with SRPG, so I think it's really appropriate to give him a shout out too. A lot of. Tempuras are very... Um... What is this? I I'm like... <laughs> I'm kind of shocked. Okay, somebody ordered some food in my, in my chat, but... Hello! Welcome... Rebel Joe Mama. Hello. Hello, hello. And, um... Yeah, anyways. Uh, I'm, I'm very thankful for Hoopa for even trying. Lots of good people in the Tempura fandom. They, they're they're the best. Guys, hello? Altair, Magni, you there? His voice falters. The heaviness from before weighs on him, drowning their repressive ache. Axel? Vesper? Anyone? But nobody answers. Oh my god, is that a Delta Root? Just, just kidding. It's not a, it's not an Undertale reference. Just kidding. <laughs> BK Man out. Peace. Bye. Thank you for dropping by. So many talented and skilled people in Tempura fandom. Much love. Yeah, they do. I don't know. Like they're so cool. I really have high respects for Tempura. It's not gonna lie. They're, they're very, they're very respectable bunch. Yes, I do know that we do have grievances here and there sometimes, but honestly, in general, if you did work with them, especially like um in in events, they're they're very driven. Um, like they're very talented in their own way, and I feel like they just need a different medium or you know a medium that they can be comfortable with to feature their own skills and talents. I would say and. These people banded together to create um, this game, Porter Star Twilight. So yeah, I, I have mad respects for those who do try and um, contribute to the community this way. And I hope there will be more. You know, more people who would try uh, event um, organizing, the better. Because more love for the boys. I think the boys are getting exhausted seeing my fucking ass <laughs> everywhere when there's like when there's like events. <laughs> Uh-oh. 
I don't know. <laughs> Maybe he'd been the only one to fall down here. And the others that are on the surface looking for him. He thinks about their faces and somehow... They all look so sad. Maybe they're down here. Somewhere in the dark. Unable to hear him. Lying cold and lifeless. No. No! I can't accept that! I won't! I won't! Oh no, Haka! Take your meds! <laughs> no! Don't listen to the voices! He continues to walk. He has to get out. If they are gone, then they'd want him to live. They'd all want him to be safe. Because that's the kind of friends they are. <laughs> because that's the truth! The Tempest boys are gonna be like that they care for each other. Leave me alone! I care out! His eyes burn. And his heart pounds wildly in his ears. He doesn't want this to be the end. He's so distracted, he almost doesn't hear faint sounds coming up from a, up ahead of the cavern. Huh? Thankfully, his ears are sharp. He listens more intently. Strange. Can't seem to... One voice, a soothing baritone voice, with distinct rising and falling inflections. Then... See, we could always... Guile. A second one. That is spicy and rumbles pleasantly in the air. A swelling feeling rises in his chest. Filling Haka with a joy. And he begins to sprint. He knows those voices. <gasps> Shinri! Vesper! Vespi! Shinri! Huh? Haka, where did you... Haka nearly collides with the two older men, jumping around in sheer elation. Aww. 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 <laughs> They're so cute, damn it. Dang it. You're so cute. Haka, I'm glad you're I'm glad you're okay. Is, is it just you? Yeah. Yeah, it's just me. I couldn't find anyone else. It's okay. We were also trying to find the others, but we've run into some issues. Haka looks at Vesper, who seems frustrated, teeth worrying at his lip. Huh? Like what? Well, for one, this place is crawling with monsters, strange ones too, like I've never seen. And Shinri has been having so to solo most of him. I want to help besides just healing, but... <sighs> I lost my spear. It must have fallen down somewhere... I can't reach. I couldn't find it anywhere. It was my favorite one, too. Given how lovingly he cherishes his spears, this is indeed a tragedy. Shinri gives Vesper a sympathetic pat on the shoulder. Hmm, well... Haka pulls out his dual spears, separating them. He offers one side to Vesper. Here, you can use this one. Well, oh, oh, no, 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 no. I couldn't, it's yours. What if I... Really, Vespi, it's fine. Take it. Fun fact! According to... I believe... um, Was it Haka or Vesper? I think one of them sold and bought the spears. I think, was it... Was it Haka who sold a spear? Or was it Vesper or the other way? I, I do know that one of them... Um, traded each other and then they got spears from, from one another. I do, I do know that um, Haka basically talked about it before in a stream. I kind of forgot like the details, but I do know that it is a, a, it was a canonical thing. I think Haka's second spear came from Vest, not sure though. My memory is also bad. Yeah, that's what I mean. Um, I think during the stream um, with Haka, I believe he did say that um, he bought or was it he 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 sold? It's either bought or sold the spear. Two or either Vesper selling. I don't know. It's it's them two involved when it comes to like the spear stuff. So yeah, it's I think it's very cute. <laughs> it's very apt, I would say. An earlier image of his guildmates lying still and glassy eyed flash through Haka's head. He shakes it away and offers the spear more insistently. Besides, 
I think I'd feel better too if you had a way to defend yourself. Vesper hesitates for a second before taking the spear gently. He holds it almost reverently, like handling Haka's firstborn. <laughs> yeah! It's most funny and sweet. And Haka clutches internally at how serious he's being. Thank you, Haka. I promise I'll take good care of her. Aww. Just as that handoff occurs, all three of them are startled by a horrifically loud squeal. What the hell? Uh, what the sigma? <laughs> Besides him, Shinri looks around before zeroing in on something off in the distance. He points at a shambling approaching mass. Look over there! It's a bunch of monsters. And in the front, that looks like a... A boar? Ahead, leading a herd of other creatures, sizable, a sizable boar steps out of the darkness. It snorts and lets out a blow distorted growl. Out of all, out of, out of its body, just several iridescent crystals. Instinctively, the three bring out their weapons, and the boar roars and charges. Here they come! Okay, I think this is a bit tricky. Because it's not hard, I would say. It's more like if you want to explore, you have to be very careful because like being overwhelmed is very common in these kind of games. So yeah, we have to take advantage of these crystals and make sure that we do, you know, um, bait some couple of them before like we do some traveling. So we just have to save this one here again, I would say. And then we fight. No, hold on. Um, I think manage units, right? Uh, here. Trade. Uh, I would say. Uh, no. Um. Case. They got copium. They got copium. We're snorting corpium here. Yeah. Okay. Do we have anything? Ooh. <gasps> no fucking way. Fucking way! <laughs> I copium! Hands up, bottoms up, ah, copium. Copium for days! Yes, that's true. I'm gonna use this item. Why not? <gasps> look at the wheel, look at we go. And then we we, we save, uh, I believe, yeah? Yeah, we save. Ow! 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 <laughs> what the hell? Why are you guys so mean to me? Stop it! <laughs> Stop it! Do not be mean to me! I'm just a little guy! Uh, hold on. Uh, let me... Let me try to look at other things again. Uh... Um... Okay. I think everything looks pretty good. I'm, so I'm, I'm just like gonna save again, just to be sure. Victory conditions. Defeat the giant boar, everyone is defeated. Okay. Well, I guess we do have some signs of life down here after all. Eh, I guess that's an interpretation for this thing. It's no beast we can handle though. Whatever it is, it's definitely not friendly. Closer. Huh? Did I just hear something from the crystal? Oh, they added this! This is a, it's a new thing. This is not. This wasn't here before in the um in the, in the version that I played before. Oh, that's so. Oh my god, that's so nice. Hold on, check. Has everyone been healed after last pack? After that last pack? Yeah, everyone looks good to me. Leader, 
When did you find this dungeon, by the way? I didn't see an explorer's record of it before heading out. Well, like... What the fuck was that? Yanny! Yanny the fuck! Okay, um... So... We do have these... And, um... We have to be careful, I think... I forgot, I forgot what it was, but um, I do know that if you if you do get too close to these, there would be a fucking indestructible enemy on this way. So you have to be very, very careful when you're trying to traverse this stuff. I believe I went down, I went down. Vesti... Vesties, come over here. Uh, I think the mushrooms are okay, whatever. I do know that if you do, um... Take the Vestie in, it you do take a bit of damage. I'm not really sure if, um... The team change it, but... I'll, I'll, I'll definitely try and... Be careful. I do know that it's not a permanent, um... Oh shit. What the fuck? Ugh, my head. <sighs> a place brimming with potential. I sense some souls nearby. Ah, to taste one again. Haka, don't listen! Don't listen to the voices! They're fake! That bat there. It doesn't seem inclined to attack. Does anyone else hear this strange sound? Is that a signal? It sounds oddly familiar. There is a high-pitched noise coming just from the direction of the bat in question. Further investigation concludes the sound is originating directly from the small creature. Hey, Vesper, it's staring right at you. It's definitely making that noise at you, but I don't understand what it could be trying to say. The bat flies towards Vesper, accepting the offer to land on its arm. On his arm. Almost immediately, the cry evokes into a loud. Okay, that's definitely me. You sound just like my besties. Oh shit. Oh, that's why it sounds so. Si it sounds so familiar to me. But it's not a vestie, right, Vesper? I'll be honest. I don't recognize it. It's not one of my besties, but it still feels like one. Huh. Well, whatever it is, it seems like it wants to stay with you. What do you think? Should we take it with us? The bat flaps its tiny wings, abandoning the scholar's arm and to relocate atop of Vesper's hair. It soon sells itself like it doesn't want it doesn't intend on leaving anytime soon. I just don't think I'm the one to make those decisions. It's just a little guy. <gasps> little guy drop mention! And already made up its mind. I don't want it to think I hate it. Let's go! We got it! Okay, um... I do know that they will be coming soon, but they're just little fry... Little, little fries, I would say. Um, I do not want to get the boar yet. Uh, for the obvious reasons that I, you know, that you guys probably know. My Shinri is a bit of a ranged unit, so we gotta be careful. Okay. Um, Vesper might need to attack. Uh, Rapier. Or single Spear. Tome. Mm. Point. Uh, because we are gonna go here. I believe also if you... I think... Is this like the secret one? I kind of forgot. But you can leave... I think you can leave the area without like defeating the boar, I would say. Like, what do you get again? Like, what do... What, what's this guy? Rush down... Tremor... Yeah... It's, it's a bit range, isn't it? I would say. Oh, the spear even changes! That's so cool! 
Okay, um, we just gotta be careful. Heading to bed, but I hope you have fun with the protostar Wimbies. I hope you good, have a good stream. Thank you so much, Fleshy. I'll try my best to, like, um... Uh, make this, a, a, I guess, not too long, but also not too short. Because, um... I am planning to 100% this. I will get every single secrets. So, yeah. Enjoy. Good night and sleep well. I'm gonna wait. What? He healed! Haka, be careful! Oh my god, that's so cute! It bounced! Yanni? Ha, he got blocked! Oh my god, you gotta be careful with Haka because I am... Um, spoilers, I can't say, but... Yeah... Uh... Yeah... Okay, um... First, I need to get there... Oh, I need to be careful, too. I think I can do here. Um... Check. Three, three, three... I give up. What was I writing for? Leader has to snap me back to attention more often. He keeps saying that... He keeps saying the power of this place has finally given him what he wanted from the start. He said it's... He said soon it is time. He can't take control. Whatever the heck that meant. Leaving here doesn't matter at all. Doesn't matter to me at all. I can't remain close to the stars here. Leader granted me what I wanted after I told him how... About... I felt connected to these caverns. He pierced a piece of crystal into me. <gasps> Nyani! He's making me a part of his power too, he said. This way, we can always be of use to him together. Oh, that's kind of gay. <laughs> Just kidding. It gives him comfort and me as well. God dang it! I knew it. They're, they're baiting me with, with their with their own... With their be-all. Also, a uh, fun fact, it's not be-all. It's just like me. I, I, I'm I'm a bit delusional. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a bit delusional. <laughs> okay, um, let's see. Uh, I have to be very careful about that area. I do know that there will be a fucking reaper that would pop out of nowhere. Th that's why I'm kind of a bit worried. Yeah, try me. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What did he say? I never, I never saw Haka's crit. <laughs> what? Haka is win. <laughs> That's so cute. Boink. Alrighty, alright, Haka boy. Alright, Haka boy. Let's put you in the healing crystal, shall we? Um, Vesper. Oh shit. We need to get get up there fast. Pronto. We must get up pronto. I'm kind of worried because, like, I do know that if we stay a bit too long, they will. Th th that that reaper is gonna go. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Is it gone now? Oh wait, it's still here. Dang it! Okay, well, I mean, in the end of the day, I'm still going there anyway. I gotta be careful, so I'm gonna have Shinri as a backup. Ah! Yo, right there, old man. Nothing. A little patching won't fix, I think. Shit. This is the one. This is the one. I have to be very careful because it can literally kill everybody. Fuck me. Check. Ah, fuck. He's gonna kill us all. <sighs> I'm kind of worried. Wait, wait, wait! Wait, we might have a chance. We might have a chance. We might have a chance. Please, 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 please. Please! Lord. Ah! He's gonna kill us all! Oh, okay, good. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay, okay. Because, like, I'm, I'm kind of worried... I got my ass clapped by this guy before. Holy shit. What do you mean? Oh shit. Please, 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 please. Thank you, Shinri! 
Okay, we, we managed to get that off. We managed to win that. Oh, shit. I was, like, sweating my balls off. And the boar is coming. Okay, run. We don't have to fight him. I think it doesn't really move. Um. Wait. Let's go. L let's keep going. Fuck that shit. Okay, um... Let's go here. Fuck, okay. Uh-huh. Dang it! Yeah, that's for... That's for, uh, Flayon, I believe, yes? Okay. Um... Okay, um... Oh, okay. Right. Talisman. Okay, that's for Haka, I believe. Um, and then I chest. You debated me. A sound echo from a distance. Don't go. <gasps> it's here. It's here. It's here. Okay, okay. Um, we can fight this guy. Okay, hold on. Um, I kind of forgot. Like, does it matter who uses this? I, I, I wait. Never mind. I got up, but he's gonna kill us. Damn! Look at you go. All right. Okay. Um, we are gonna circle around. Obviously. Because we need that stuff. Yeah, this is why we are like a loot goblin situation here, huh? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Go, Shinri! Whoa, Shinri, you're so cool! Shinri, you're so cool! Oh my god, Taco, are you seeing this? Your... He, he, your Oshi is cool! Ouch! What in tornation? Okay. Uh... I'll, I'll keep Shinri. So, um, the boar will try to, like, go. Sniff the void. Sometimes the void sniffs back. Oh my god, he's a crit master! Holy shit! Go, Shinri. Alright, now we, we, have, we have to leave. Okay. Alright, let's go. Wait, 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 wait. Tea set. There we go. Vest tea. Yippee! Actually, I kind of want to... Wait, wait. Check. Huh. <laughs> Yippee, Yator. Yippee, Yator. Yippee, Yator. Shit, I have to be careful with that because, like, that boar hurts like a bitch. Um, okay. Um, uh, how, how, what's his range? Okay, his range is kind of a bit big. Okay, let's go and bait that guy. You bait, it's hard to bait that guy. Vesper, ouch! There we go. Go, 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 Vespi. No damage. Let's go. Alright. See, we're healing. We're healing. We're healing good. We're healing good. Alright. Um, I believe... Shinri should do the last orders. I don't know. Dude, his crit is so... Oh my god. Yo, let's go, Shinwi! Yo, yo, Shinwi! Shinwi! Should we examine it? I did pick up the stuff, right? What was that? Wait, hold on. I don't think I am the one who makes the decision. I'm just a little guy, blah, blah, blah. You're right there, old man. Nothing... A little patching won't fix, I think. 
Huh, that what, well, it seems. Should we examine it? Let him awaken the power inside of him. What? What was that, Haka? Huh? There they go. I don't think they'll be coming back anytime soon. <laughs> Bit quick to run, eh? No one. I wonder why they came charging all of a sudden. We want take that you. Haka, Haka taunts the dead boar with a cons conservative amount of cursing in both Spanish and English. Yeah, it, it would say like a puta or something. <laughs> Sorry. We we so we also say that in Filipino. So. Ha! There he goes. I guess that means you're all right then. At Vesper Curie. Haka comes down, turning to face him and Shinri. As he opens his mouth to answer, however, he winces and rubs his, rubs at his right arm. Ugh, yeah, I'm alright. Just a little sore, I think. Shinri observes the movement, and he shares a glance with Vesper. Despite the mutual concern, neither comments on it. That's good. Well, before you found us, we were trying to figure out how to find the rest of the guild. Did you hatch any ideas? Uh, maybe? I don't know if you still... I don't know if you two still have yours. Vesper fishes around his in his coat pocket before producing something. Holding it up. But I still have my guild communicator. Wow, really? Nice! I totally don't have mine. I think it dropped out of my pocket when I fell. And mine's definitely a goner after he landed on it. Lucky you saved yours. Well, I don't say you're lucky yet. I still don't know if it even works. He fills around with it for a bit. Eventually, a low static emits from it. Hello, Gil Tempest? Is anyone out there? This is Vesper speaking. Over. They fall silent, listening. But there's only static. Maybe they just lost or broke their communicators too? Vesper pulls a face, bro furring as he bites his lip. Maybe. But it seems unlikely I'm the only one whose communicator survived. No, I think it's a connection issue. This abyss is a dead zone. Even if they're down here, they couldn't hear us either way. A heavy quiet settles around them, each mulling in their own thoughts. Vesper turns the communicator off, tucking it back into his pocket. That seems to break the spell of silence, and Shinri clears his throat. Better get moving. We shouldn't hang around too long in case more giant boars are more giant boars come knocking. Then he gives them a reassuring smile. They'll be okay, guys. They're resourceful. Let's just hope for their safety, okay? And that we see them again soon. Right. Yeah, yeah. All right. Let's go. Hoping to reunite with their guildmates, safe and sound, the three delve back into the unknown. Unbeknownst to them, hidden in the dark, something watches watches them go. Something with bright eyes and a black heart. Oh shit! And a vac too. Oh, that was good. That was good. The, the added the added scenes are wonderful. Great job, everybody. Great job. Eki! Eggy-tan! Hello! Welcome to... Welcome! Welcome to the stream! Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Thank you! I'm gonna save it here. Just to be sure. Oh my god! This place! Okay, um... It's gonna be a long... I would say it's, it's a bit of a difficult map, I would say. I'm not really sure if, um... The team changed anything in the... Axel and Metal map. I think... For the people who haven't really um, played the demo, this was actually the demo map for you guys to check before they released it on itch.io. Uh, and this map is, I think, I would say the most difficult one out there because it's, um, I believe, an, an infinite, reinforce, infinite reins, reinforcement map. Sorry. Um... A lot of things may pop up, so I'm just gonna go downstairs and get some water. Cause it'll be I, I guess it'll be a long fight, I would say. I I need to pick up specific items here. And I think I'm starting to feel my throat um dry. And I don't have any water on me right now. So I'll be right back, okay? I'll be right back. 
I'm just gonna go get some water real quick and um, I hope you guys keep comfy, okay? I'll be back! I'll be back! I'll be back! I'll be back! <laughs> okay. Where's the BRB? Mom, I'm gonna go to my BRB screen, okay?
I'm back. I'm back. I'm sorry. I got, I got some. I got some water now. Bye bye. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Hi, everybody. I apologize for that. They did. T they did took the cold water down, and they did not refill it again. Bruh. It happens. So I have a glass of like lukewarm water, and it tastes really gross. I don't like. I think my body does not like lukewarm water at all. Uh, it's it's kind of gross. Not gonna, <laughs> not gonna lie. Okay. Um, now we're gonna be on Act Three. Okay. Okay. Now let's go back. Act Three. R Act Writer by Draco, and also the Conversation Writer and. <laughs> I can't read the name. I can't read that name. I buy it. I mean, I'm not even sure if it's even, um, I, I believe that's, that's a Mandarin name. I, I could read the kanjis, but I can't read it as, a, as like, somebody's name. Fading in and out of consciousness, Axel struggles to awaken. What appears to be an unfamiliar voice echoes. Little buddy? Just hang on, little buddy. Who? Please be safe. I'll find you again. I promise. Where? After struggling for this aching body that yearns for more rest, Axel comes to. Standing up slowly, he looks around when he had fallen. Axel had landed on a ridge overlooking an underground lake. Below him, crystal shine through the completely still and clear water. At the bottom of the lake is a gravelly shore littered with several... Alligators! Interior crocodile alligator. Okay, that was a bad joke. <laughs> several alligators dot the shore beneath where Axel has landed. There we go! There she goes! I hate this place. A few have turned their heads towards Axel, but make no attempts to climb up and make him their meal. In the distance, a voice more familiar than the previous one echoes. Axel strains his ears. Buddy, where are you? Betsy! Betty! Phantom! Where are you, buddy? Sup. <laughs> Soup. Axel, you're here. Have you seen Phantom? No, I have not. I think Axel said, nah, I don't see him anywhere, bro. Shay, shake, man, I don't see him. Are you sure? Bro, I just walked about halfway around this lake and I haven't seen him. Just some alley. <laughs> Alright, if he wasn't on your half of the lake and he wasn't on my half, I'm gonna guess he hasn't found anyone else. No point sticking around, those scaly shits might be after us. Having made it past the land bridge, Axel and Betel ventured into the cave system. Not long after entering, the pair come to a fork in the path. Shoot. <laughs> he just said it! A fork and a path. Yeah, you think so? <laughs> the cave's been twisting for a bit. I think we might be in some sort of kind of maze. No sweat. Me and Shinri have mastered mazes at this point. Battle charges at the path directly ahead. After a few seconds, Bell runs back into the junction. Dead end. Yeah, I can see it from here. <laughs> Alright, then. Right it is. Once again, Bell charges, this time to the right path. And once again, Bell returns. Also a dead end. I thought so. There's a draft coming in from the left here. Alright then, follow my lead. Hold on. Something smells like... Bowl. Don't tell me. There she goes! Alright. <clears throat> well. <sighs> Let's get to our... Manage units real quick. And then use item. I believe I could trade... Hold on. 
trade with Shinri and Leon. There we go. Uh, formation. Wait, no, no. Use item. Her maze boots. What the fuck are these? <laughs> what? Guys, look at this shit. What? Axel, explain yourself. Is this the thing that you were asking the team for? What? What is this? Axel's cute. Ragnarok, not Rin. What is this? <laughs> huh? 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 <laughs> what the fuck? God, this guy, I swear to God. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's a joke. It's a joke. Good. Good. It's a joke. I was like, what the fuck are these? I knew it that they would have like a joke item, but the fuck? That threw me off. <laughs> what the fuck? You can, you can do this to me, bro. I don't know about this. Maybe I'll wait. Just, just to be sure. Um. What is like? What is this pebble? What, 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 what in the hell is a pebble? Okay, well, I'm just like, gonna save it here. Okay, so this is this is gonna be a very difficult fight, I would believe. Fucking, I hate internet reinforcement maps. I swear to God. Oh my bad. Shoot, more alligators coming from behind us. Ah, where did they come from? They're probably the ones that were sniffing at my feet while I was out. Y'all need to get off my ass, for real. How are we going to get through this? Slowly. Picking off the alligators in front of us while fighting back the alligators behind us. Just stay close together and we'll get through this. Man, if we only have help. Okay. <clears throat> Compared to the rest of Guild Tempest, battle stats leave much to be desired. We can't all be caked up and have big packs or giant mechas. But Bell does have a special ability. Try moving Bell next to Axel and choose perform. Perform? Like a magic trick? I've got plenty of those, but what will that do? Hey Axel, watch this. Bell sticks his hand inside his hat. Ta-da! Bell pulls out a receipt from the grocery store? Wait, that's not... Suddenly, an obscene amount of tomatoes fall out of the sleeve of the opposite arm. Damn, Betsy, you always impressed with your tricks. Alright then, my turn to do something cool. Axel can take another action. Bell's perform ability allows other members of the Guild Tempest to move and take another action in the same turn. Use this ability to move close to... Uh, meh. Move slower members faster. 
for stronger members to take down more enemies. Hell yeah. Alright, so it's a bit difficult. So, uh, I'm not really sure if they changed it. I'm gonna give a disclaimer that um, it might be an it's still an uh, infinite reinforcement map. But um, we have now a lot of things that we need to take, which is these. These flames. And these items. Alright. Time to... Alright, who's next? You? Well, slow down there. I don't think this little guy is with the others. Hey there, little fella. What's a guy like you doing? <laughs> ah! You spat at me! Face a little guy, ain't he? Let me get a shot. Be playful. Axel gra grabs the lizard by the tail and starts tossing it into the air. The lizard seems to be having fun. <laughs> I can perform. Axel offers impassioned and explicit field encouragement. The lizard seems amused by the big man's funny words. Oh my god, here we go! Why do you wanna bite my ass? <laughs> Why do you wanna buy my ass? Holy shit, the fucking 177 crit. Holy shit. Damn, look at it. Here go. Woo, let's go, Axel. Ah, here's another reinforcement. Wait, no, no, no. Not yet. Alright. Okay, well... We gotta be careful with this one. I do know that, um... This... This thing here does... Kind of... Bait these guys, but we gotta be careful still. Fucking hell, man. Some items cannot be used, but we'll grant a skill while in the inventory of the proper character. Try giving the top hat to battle. Top hat ease. Alright. Ugh. There's so many enemies. Walk that shit. Ahem. 25. Da 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 expedition day. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Time? I don't think this place experienced it anymore. I feel no hunger, thirst, or pain. The memories of my companions are fading. I know I had some. Just what did they look like? I know I had some. Oh, wait. Sorry. I I've wandered the caverns. I don't know how many times I find their crystal forms and shape their features. But the statues keep growing, and those are now just blobs of blue light. They have replaced the stars from outside. It seems Theory is assimilating to this dungeon in a way. He stares at the crystals, and they morph with his gaze. He's recreated our home. Images of our friends, and supplies me with materials to draw and write. He says I should keep. I should try to keep myself together for a bit longer. I don't understand. Why can't I just die? Why can't I escape the forever burning crystalline right? Why? Why don't this dungeon just finally claim me too? Leader is the only one trying tying me together now. Let's go. Okay. Um. Shit. We gotta be careful with this one, cause um. We are trying to get to that gator. And it's gonna be very difficult when we're kind of a bit overwhelmed. So, yep. First, just to be safe, because Battle, Battle has a lot of ways to get, you know, to dodge, but. Um. Still, you know, you gotta be too sure about it. Haha, <laughs> get wrecked.
I guess this is also like a very good place to like farm, I would say. Okay. Um We are gonna get overwhelmed, so we gotta be very careful with this one. Leveling up. All right. Okay. This this is gonna be a bit difficult. Not gonna lie. Okay. Shit. Okay. The thing is, Betty is a bit weak. So we gotta be careful. Maybe I should keep Betty safe first. I don't know. Oh, fuck. Okay. Um. this for a bit. Okay, and then they're, you're basically baiting, right? Alright. Hang in there! Don't you fucking die! Alright. Starting to do the thing. Keep dodging, boy. Keep dodging. All right. Uh, Betty has to be very careful here. Crud. Okay. On which one do we need? Okay, this one. I think we can kill this one. Uh, hold on. There we go. There we go. There we go. We have to be more careful now. Okay. Oh, there's a lot of like... Guys to fight with. Freak, man. Okay. Go, Aniki, go! Back down the bridge. Yeah, we need to... We basically need to get this guy. I do know that, like, um, they did say 
that you can just like use a, a crystal to get back get you know to get back to chapters but i don't know this i want this chapter over with because i don't like you know infinite infinite shit infinite reinfor reinforcement mass is like the bane of my existence when it comes to like fire emblem I will get surrounded, that's one thing. So that I have to be careful with this one. Bell, careful, careful, Bell, careful! Grizzel Hassel in a fight to the death here, but he's really, he's alive. He knows! He knows what we're doing. Battle hang in there. Ah! Oh shit. Battle. Dang it, Battle. I think he's still okay, I believe. Yeah, it's it's kind of a bit hard in this chapter. There's it, you, it's easy to get, you know, to get overwhelmed. It's kind of which kind of fucky, not gonna lie. I think I might have an idea. Oh, I'm not sure if it's like route an enemy because it's very Why do you wanna bite my ass? Subjective, I would say. Uh there we go. We have we have to restart this game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, that's fine. Yeah, this is why we have to be careful. Okay, um I did have that. Uh, I do have that. Wait, actually, hold on. Trade, 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 trade. Manage. Trade. Oh, cool. I think I got I got these items too. Okay, let's trade um with battle. He needs the healing potion more, I would say, but. Wait, didn't I have already, um... Status? Wow, he, he, he got... He got his joke items back. Okay, um, trade... With Betty. Uh, I would say... You can have it, her, his waifu. He needs the boost potion. Because it's important too. I think the healing potion is fine. Trade. Maybe we could trade something. Uh, I think the one that has a lot of like healing potions is that, I would say. But, right. You can have this one. Ultima Weapon! Ultima Weapon! Okay. Save. I kinda expected this, by the way. It, it is very difficult. Okay, um, I guess we can try this one instead. Uh... I do know that, um, it doesn't instantly... ...finish the entire... Uh... Okay, okay, it, it is route the enemy. So, we, c we can focus on going to the... ...to this dude, I guess, to this alligator dude. So we can have like six of them. Okay, um, perform. Uh, I'll, I'll do a little bit more like serious slash gamer moment now. Okay, uh huh. Okay. Why not? There we go. Okay. 
if we beat this if we beat this guy's ass, it should be over, I would I would say. Okay. Alright. Wait, 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 hold on. Uh, okay. Um, can it, can, I can't do this because, like, it might attack Betty, so that's kind of a bit dangerous. Oh, that that add a boy, add a boy. Okay. Okay, hold on, 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 hold on. Ugh. I thought I... Okay, I guess I can't just... I just need to get down there, okay. But that means... Ah... Uh, we have to get chased by that dude. We gotta think. We gotta think. We gotta think. Come on. We gotta think. We gotta think, you know? We gotta use our brain. It will happen. Eh? What? Oh no, what happened? What the hell? What happened? It was blank all of a sudden. Eh? Eh? What? Oh no, there's a bug. Oh no, okay, well... Hold on, hold on. I... <laughs> Give me a moment. You guys can see this too, right? Like, it's, it's just like blank, right? You can hear it, but it's blank. Okay, that's kind of annoying. Alright, okay. Uh, I guess... Exiting, no go. <clears throat> How about that's the thing? Let me load this one. Okay, so this one is okay. Journal. Load. Can we? Are you see? <sighs> ah, nyande. Okay. Yeah, this is blank. Yeah, you guys can hear it too, right? Okay, that's fun. It wasn't like this before. Don't worry about it, guys. Don't worry about it. I'll definitely, um, send this bug to the team, I would say. I don't think this is very common. That's why. It's not, uh, I, I, I think this is more of like an SRPG issue, I would say. I don't think it's, a, but, you know. I, I can, if you guys don't mind, I will, I will just, like, skip this one out. Uh, let's see. Single spear. Uh. I'm gonna speedrun this. Don't worry about it. Okay. Uh, definitely. Haka. Uh, here. Wait. I 
I, I think then again, I would say the issue that might have been is because like there's the, the item that I already used kind of popped again in the chapter. I think that kind of bugged the whole save. So yeah, it's it's fine. It, it's it's a game thing. Not not really their fault. So I'm I don't really have anything against it. Just unfortunate, I would say. I got another pebble. Hold on. Okay, I would... Mm hmm Bugs worries happen, yeah. I, I mean, honestly, if... I'm not sure if it's something that the others can replicate. I guess it's more of like, um... Because I exited the game. But then again, it was already a pre-existing save. I don't I don't know why that happened. I guess I just break games that often. I break the game. Ho <laughs> I break the game. Yep, I'm too powerful. What, what can I say? All right. Weird. I don't know why he's there. There we go. We got the fragment from Shinri. I think we can just like ignore it. As long as we don't touch it, right? As long as it doesn't fucking beeline towards me. Holy shit. Last time when I played this game, this bitch was like beelining towards me the moment I, I went there. I think it's something that they can't really remove in terms of like coding. I don't know. You know, making games is hard. It's it's understandable, not gonna lie. There are just like parameters that are just like hard to really get rid of. Oh shit. Alrighty. Ugh. Ooh, hold on. It's really hard because like this game kind of wonky with, with the controls and all that. Energy pack. Uh huh. Alrighty. Yeah, we're we're doing pretty good. See, I know, like. You know, when when it comes to like games, I think I'm pretty, I think I'm pretty good at stuff. Like t t when it comes to like tactic games, I think I'm pretty good at it. I think I would very be confident about it. But there are s uncertainties that I probably, you know, I'm kind of like not too sure. Which is, I would say, um, infinite, infinite. Reinforcements are one of like the bane of my fucking existence. It's easy to get around, but you do get overwhelmed if you're not really careful. No matter what, so... Okay, I think I already did free that, so I'm gonna... I guess I'm gonna keep staying here. I'm, I'm gonna let, uh... Haka do the thing. Thank <laughs> you. 
Chain me, no! Hang in there. Oh my god, look at him go! Look at that crit! Shinri's so strong. Okay, there we go. No, we... I don't wanna... I, uh... I don't wanna step on the mushroom. There we go. Moink! And then when you go here... Hello! There's nothing here, but if you gather the six flames, you will be able to challenge the maker. Okay, okay. Heh. <laughs> Get over here, Dan. Eh. And then here. Oh, he missed. Oh, you missed. Yo, is this what you have to deal with? Yo, is this the one you have to deal with? <laughs> That's funny. Okay. I didn't see that. Okay. I think we can just like skip this part. I already played this game. Yeah, yeah. Yada, yada, yada. Okay. Don't worry about it, guys. Okay, uh, I'm gonna save again. This better not be freaking... Okay. Okay, so let me get the... Manage again. I think Cleon and... Cleon and here. I would... And then trade with... Yeah, there was a PlayStation 1 tactics game called Vanguard Bandits. And one of the last levels, you had to fight unending waves of enemies unless you kill the boss. Pretty tough with the infinite enemies. Yeah, that's the thing. It's fun. It is fun, I would say. But there's, I guess, a limitation to it. And that limitation is like... When you have a fucking weak-ass... Um... Character along with the with the, the whole thing. I, I mean, I don't mind fighting like waves of enemies But if there's like a, a, a liability with it, I'm like, oh, come on I mean, you know, I like the challenge too though. It's fine It's just it's I guess it's more of like a, an irritation rather than a rather than great I respect I respect devs to try to do pull that off. I think it, it will touch a specific niche of people who are sad, uh, not saddest, but like, I mean, masochistic players, I would say. I would say I'm not like a masochist. I'm more of like, um, a, I'm just stubborn. I, I beat the stage with everything and I got everything. So, you know. I'm 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 kind of confident that I can like beat it. I just need to like um figure out the whole thing. Okay, go go get the waifu, and then we can get the healing potion, and then we could trade. Um, we could trade. I guess well, while we're here, anyways. I'm gonna trade uh, um, the Hermes. Go get your Hermes boots. Okay, I think that should be it. I'm, I think I'm not supposed to trade them, but you know. Times are tough here in Elysium, man. Okay, and then we save. I guess I could save it here, because like, it kind of bugged there when I traded stuff, so... I think triggering triggering the the boss does um, stop the reinforcement. So I think I have to just like go down and then trigger the boss.
I don't know. I know it'll hurt, it'll hurt a bit, Betty, but... I just want this reinforcements to stop. I understand though, man. Yeah, it's a corruption. Okay, I think... There we go. Alright, so... Now we stop the reinforcement. This guy, this guy will follow us. And our main prerogative now is basically... Hope that this guy will um, go to the Axolol instead. It is a good decoy. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna let Betty stay. Since it's gonna be very dangerous. But the reinforcements is basically gone. And that's what's important. So Betty... I think Betty should stay in, in, in a safe place. Uh, probably here. Why Careful now. Bite my ass? Oh my fucking god! Alright, well don't kill it, Axel, please! All right. Okay. Please let this be it. Don't kill it, Axel. I'm begging you. Oh my god, I forgot. Betty. Bethany, no. Don't die. Ah, I don't want to do ah. Okay, okay, god dang it. Okay, okay, okay. I need to be more careful with this one, god dang it. I mean, actually, I can just like keep on because like it's not like a permanent death, but it's still like annoying nonetheless. Can we can we leave? Exit. Can we exit? Okay, let me try guess let me try this again. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm kind of pissed off, come on! It's so easy. I did it before. I, I need to think better. I need to think. I need to use my brain. You know? I need to use my brain. Yeah, this one is not loading. Okay, okay. let me try the one that's just like... Basically... The one that we just finished beating. Which is, I believe, this one, right? Okay, so Act 3 is kind of a bit broken. Okay, Act 3... Act 3 itself is broken. Okay. Uh, to the... To the... To the... To the debug. We go, I would say. Yeah, I mean, it's okay. That means they... They will notice. They will notice and fix it. But it wasn't... It, it didn't have this issue before. But, yeah. I guess they're not expecting somebody who's like... Save scumming the shit out of this game. <laughs> But I, I think it shouldn't it shouldn't corrupt that. It shouldn't cor be corrupted. It's it's weird. I don't know why it is. Okay, so basically it has to be um Vesper, I guess. Maybe that would change something. But I don't understand. Okay. Uh I need I need to I need to do separate saves this time for for sure. I'm not giving up. Don't worry about it, guys. I'm not giving up. Um, I think... I need to... Use item... Because, you know, these... Uh, I think, like I said, this is like something that's probably not a lot of people would try. Because they're not try hard. Not a lot of people are try hards. That's why, like, you know, maybe it's negligible. It's fine. It's, it's probably my issue. But it's still something that they need to ch they need to also address, I would say. It's more likely um an optimization issue rather than you know something very necessary. It's like it depends on that if they want to pursue it. Mm, trade right um who was I supposed to trade again? Okay, I think not not them. Okay, not them. Right. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, well, don't worry about it. I, I kinda I kinda know what to do anyways. Alrighty, let's go. That's so strange. Like, is it because like I traded the items, like the joke items? Is that is that it? Because okay, when when I used the items, it wasn't it wasn't bugging. But when when the items aren't used, I think it's it's kind of bugged that way. I don't know. Wait, what? Probably their best interest to fix though. Yeah, that that's the thing. Okay, so from what I've experienced, because like I think we we did load the game before, right? But when when I use up the items, um, the the item was there again. Like it it spawned again in my in my inventory. But when I didn't use the items, um, I think the uh the whole save broke. So I guess I have only one shot to do this, and I need to be very careful. Cause I don't I don't want to keep doing act two all over again. <laughs> I mean, it's not that hard. It's not an issue, but it's still kind of a bit um, unfortunate, I would say. I do know that there is an item that makes you go back to chapters so you get all like the things that you missed, but still. I mean, re infinite reinforcement is a bitch to do. Like, I don't want to go back to Act 3 again. And it's like the most buggiest place that I think out of all of the chapters, I think Act 3 was the, the one that I had so much problem on. Even even when I was having um yeah, I guess it was like a point the point zero version. Like I said, it's not a slight to the devs at all. It's more like I feel like this is a limitation towards SRPG maker. So I'm it's it's really something that's very unfortunate. Because I think it, it's a very ambitious. Um, I would say it's it's still ambitious when it comes to like this project. So I'm kind of excited when they're they're now um, porting to a different. Um, I would say uh, engine in the near future. I'm not really sure what engine they're trying to do, but I am hoping. I'm just like hoping that they do change. Okay, there we go. I don't necessarily need to. Would be a bummer. Like, uh, it depends really. Like when I when it comes to like, I'm very thorough when I play video games. I guess mostly because like I'm a <coughs> I'm a tryhard, so you know. I I just like you know s seeing everything about the game that has to offer. But unfortunately, well, there's things that are stopping me. But you know, it's it's not it's not a it's not a problem. You guys might have to be more patient with me, though. You guys gotta be more patient with me, cause like, as as much as I like the lore, I wanna like see the whole entire game. I guess I wanted to play this game in a more like, how would I play it in my off time? I guess you guys are just like, you know. Oh shit! Okay, hold on. Uh, you guys have to see me go through these. I'm kind of perplexed. Like, it shouldn't. It shouldn't be that. Issue. I don't know why it's it's a it's a big thing. Okay. Uh, I just need to be careful not to replicate that all over again. Okay. There we go. And then we wait. We wait. And then we wait. Mm hmm. Just cause like I kinda need the I kinda need the, the gem. It looks like exciting to see a game break sometimes too. Yeah. Like that's my favorite part when it comes to like video games. It's like to see what what's their limitation, I would say. Cause it gives you like like what they what they offer or like what's the limitation and like it you kinda so have some sort of like understanding of what kind of you know, like, what, what kind of breaks the game in general. Like, it, I had that issue too. I think one of my friends figured out an actual game-breaking bug with, um... 
back for blood. If you throw a grenade off, um, I would say off bounds, the the zombies basically won't spawn. I think in in the final crescendo, where the zombies are basically oh, it's gonna be like the horde is there and you're supposed to like um, fix your car and you have to like you know. Yeah, like it's time limited, but it's actually not because like you threw things off the bounds, so that's kind of funny. I don't know. Game debugging is fun. All right, now we're free. Anyways, um, I would um item use. Okay. Let's go, Shinri! Let's go, Shinri! Let's go, Shinri! Oh my god, Shinri, look at him go! Shinri was like fucking going crazy, holy shit! Okay, now this is the one, right? Alright, okay, 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 okay. We have to be careful this time. Since we can't. Since we basically can't fucking save. Like, no saving this time. No saving. It has to be Vesper only. Alright, so... Inventory here. Uh, manage. I think this is it. Trade with Shinri. Trade with Vesper. Or you know what? Since I don't want to save anyways, the only thing that I'm gonna do is... Get healing items from... I'll tear and trade it to Axel. If it's if it's gonna break the whole entire freaking game, because like I have his joke items, I might have to address this for real. Because I think this is the only re this is the only way I can replicate it. So yeah. I believe in you. Thank you, thank you. I'm so sorry that this is happening. <laughs> I, I, I'm sure it's frustrating for you guys watching us. Uh, as also, it's frustrating for me too. So, yeah. Okay. I just have to be more careful. Alright. Um, I have to go down. Hold on. Okay. Metal, don't you fucking die on me! Oh my god, Metal. Okay. Okay, okay, Metal, how about you... Shit, okay. Okay, boost yourself. What the fuck? How did it go there? Is he trying to defend this? Oh my fucking god. Now I'm having fun hearing your explanation and your input. Thank you so much. Um <laughs> I I usually when, when people hear, you know, like more technical stuff when it comes to like games, people think, Oh, you're so nerd. Haha, <laughs> look at you. The toy actually. Like, uh, actually, kind of like that. Okay, um, what do we do? We have stopped the reinforcements now, so we only have one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But the thing is, this guy is gonna fucking kill. This guy's gonna kill Battle at some point. But I need to f defend Battle. Um if I could just like bait if I could bait the 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 alligator. Because if I don't stop the the alligators here, they will take Betty. So I'm gonna use Axel to bait here. Oh my god. Battle! Oh my god! Come on! 
Demon! Battle, no! He's a bit hard. It's a bit hard to, you know, to deal with battle since he's kind of a bit weak, so... Hmm... I guess I should leave battle down as is. And, like, I don't... I shouldn't put battle down with Axel, I would say. It wasn't... How did I do it? I do know that I basically sent Axel down to stop the reinforcement. But with Betty, it wasn't that hard. Because he usually... I think it's because, like, he dodges a lot. And I did have him boosted. So I guess I just have a bad roll today. Alright, let me try this again. Let me try this again. See if... if me not saving... Kinda... Changes it. Okay? And I'll see if, uh... I can report this to the staff members in regards to the Act 3 being all buggy. Okay, see? Okay, good. Yeah, so it is, it is the item. It is the item. Okay, so it is the item that kind of like stops it from working. Okay. Thank God. Uh, rage. Trade, right, 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 trade. Let's trade some items again with Altair and Axel. Please get his waifu and the boost potion too. And then we fight. It's it's very difficult because like I'm very scared because if I don't trim off the the if I don't trim off the monsters down here, they will overwhelm Betty. They, Betty is like my only concern here. Like, Axel's fine. Okay. So Betty will stay here then. Alright, okay. So, they will zoom towards Betty now. I think Axel will be fine. But... I just need to be careful. Why do you wanna buy that? Oh my god, don't kill it yet! Axel, don't kill it yet! Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I get it, I get it. Okay, Betty, you're 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 kind of bit of a tr you're kind of bit of in trouble right now. Betty's such a solid name. Yeah, he is Betel, but um. Ugh. Stay still! Don't die, don't die, please, Axel, please, 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 don't die, Axel. What? What happened? Oh, right, the corruption, oh my god. But why? I don't think I... Hold on, hold on. I don't think he... Huh? Okay, 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 hold on. I'm kind of confused. Were they giving them another... Okay, I do know that he has bleed and corruption, I think. Well, that's kind of bullshit. Okay. Okay, hmm. <laughs> I like how you guys are just like, you know, me trying to solve this fucking act. It's not necessary, but you know. If I didn't care about the items, I would just like fucking clear this game in like... In a minute. But this is not gonna happen. We are not doing this. Okay. Because I'm stubborn like that. Okay. Manage again, again, again. Trade. Axel. With Altair. Waifu. And the boost potion. I think I should start giving them boost potions, I think. 
and then we fight. It's so annoying. I do know that, you know, maybe it's not necessary, but... Uh, I'm kind of still bummed about it. Okay. Betty, I think you, stay, you need to stay here. Because I feel like being near the corruption crystals... Like, I think it's an AoE thing. That's a lot of monsters. Okay. Why do you want to buy that? Okay, nineteen is fine. Nineteen is fine. Okay. Ah, fuck. Oh my god, Betty's gonna get overwhelmed for sure. Okay, Betty, I know I know I know you're gonna Oh my god, well you know what? Fuck that. <laughs> no Come on, like it's so easy to beat this game. It's e easy to beat this game, but it's just like I want the items, but this fucking map is so bullshit. <laughs> No, I, I am not gonna sell for that. God dang it. It's so hard. Hi, Lambda. Hi, Sai Music. Hello, welcome. <laughs> okay, um, I'm gonna use my. Okay, let's be more. Okay, so each step that I take. We are either getting five reinforcement alligators or three. And the thing is, once you're near a crystal, you do get corruption, which does take five damage. It's an AOE crystal, I guess. Like you don't necessarily have to be in the crystal. It it like it's the air general area of the crystal. And you also get bleed when you're being attacked by this gator guy. I mean, Bello could also take the upper place, but he's so freaking weak. He's like a big liability out of all of the units out there. So that's the thing. Like, this map is very easy if I just don't care about the items. But if I- if when I care, then that's gonna be an issue. It's like, it's like a, a lot of like sacrifices and like, you know, understanding stuff. And I have to like deal with AOE too. Well, not AOE, like RNG. That's a thing. Save. We can save it, right? No, I don't think so. Because like I didn't use it. I didn't use this like joke items. <laughs> Alright. Um, let me fight again. Okay, how about we... But I don't want to get too many fucking reinforcements. That's fucking my, my issue. Okay. Why is Axel still being corrupted? I don't know why. Okay, we got two. What did the joke items do? They all they do is like take the fucking skill skill slots. That's literally it. Which is kinda annoying, but I guess this is like what the what the boys wanted, I guess. So I'm I'm kinda like whatever about it. Why do you wanna fight? 
Oh my god. Okay. Oh Betty, oh Betty. You're gonna get you're gonna be in trouble. did this like how did they fucking get all the items without like fucking triggering anything oh my god no i don't want to spoil as uh me when i already read the fucking plot by the way <laughs> okay okay this is like basically trying to figure out fucking act three come on if it's i don't want to like think it's just possible i think it's more of like rng and also, like, trying to not fucking die. Okay, don't worry about it, guys. I I, I, I can deal with it. I can deal with it. It's just like, I need to be, you know, I need to just, like, think a bit more harder, I think. Okay, let's trade again. Because, okay, normal people who don't try hard like me, okay, don't care about the items. Once you get the mask, it's already fine. It's just healing potions and a couple of like... And then Bell's top hat. Like that's... That's it. And then there's like a fragment there. But that's a thing, see? That's a thing, see? <laughs> it's annoying, see? <laughs> I just want this over with so I don't want to get... I don't want to... I don't want to return back here. Like literally, I don't want to go back here. <laughs> I don't want to go back here. Or you know what? I could park. I could park fucking Betel onto the fucking entrance. But that's the thing. I have to go... I have to like... Okay, listen, listen, okay? Um... Th there's this. Um, if, if you could just like... Mm, units. I don't know. What was the hell? Hints. Okay, how, how do I get back to the map actually? You know what? Fine, well, whatever. Like, okay. Um they have the they have the lore items, right? There's the lore items and then there's this. The fragments are very important, I would say. Which is I I have yet to know. I do know that you can return here anytime, but no way. I don't wanna go back here. Fuck this fuck this fucking map. I hate this map. <laughs> like, it's not to the devs, okay? It's just like I hate fucking infinite reinforcements. It's like this is like a bitch to play. No matter what game, like if it's Final Fantasy Tactics Advanced, Advanced Two, Fire Emblem, all of the series that it has, if it has like infinite reinforcement. Hey, ain't you my wife or something? Oh, you wish. You wish. <laughs> Okay, let's see. I'm nobody's wife. Cause I'm 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 fictional I'm 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 a fictional character. I'm so sorry about that. You shouldn't date fictional characters because they're not real. I'm not real <laughs> I'm not real Okay, um let's see. Item You know what I could just do this. Um boost potion, yeah. And then, okay, Betty, Betty, you, also. Okay, we got two reinforcements. I do know that it'll, it'll, it'll reset each time. <sighs> Let's see, um... Why are you taking damage? Can 
Can we can I can I lure these guys instead? Can like can Battle do this though? Uh, I'm kind of mm. Let me try. <gasps> oh my god, Betty, you're so weak. That was 32% fucking chance by the way. Oh my god, that's so unfortunate. It's okay. Betty, how come your luck isn't working on my end? Okay. Oops. Oh my bad. Oh my bad. Okay, don't worry about it. He's not cooperating. It it just like it's like it do be like that sometimes. Oh my god, man. Why is he such a bitch to clear? Oh my god. Alright. Okay. Actually, why the fuck is like th this is like AOE? I don't know why. It used to be just like it it's only in one tile, but I guess not. Okay, well. Maybe I could just try to clear that stuff. Wait. Journal. So this is the thing, see? Corruption and bleeding. See? that? That's the thing. Fucking bullshit fucking stats, I swear to god. He's clearing that shit up. <gasps> He's bleeding. Okay, how do how do I trigger this? Is it here? Okay, oh, that's fine. No more. Oh, that's such a lot of fucking things. So, and then I have to deal with this stupid guy too. Oh my god. Battle, hang in there. Oh my god. Alrighty. Are you serious? Oh my god, bro. I need to go to the fucking healing crystals stat. Okay, what what is this reach actually? Hold on. Okay, that that reach, huh? That's a good question. Okay, now we have to deal with only six. Okay, now that's more manageable. God dang it. See, we're doing it! <laughs> it's just a bit annoying! <laughs> Perform. Okay. Okay, okay. Dang it! How there we go. Much better. Uh No? You're not trying to beat up Betty. Oh my god, Betty, you better survive this. I'll beat your ass up if you're gonna die on this one. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna clear the the Wait, actually, I need to talk to this guy, right? Why do you 
Oh my god, I forgot this dude! I forgot this dude. I need to be careful. Okay, come on, Betty. Y you need to fucking leave that place. Hold on, um... Okay. So I'm gonna get. I'm, I'm basically gonna get chased by this dude, which is kind of annoying. And I wish there was like a way to like dodge and not get, not get hit. Um. Live, live, Betty, live! <laughs> Dang it, Betty! You know what? Fuck you. You're gonna, you're gonna die, Betty. <laughs> yeah, there we go. See, they're they're basically getting baited. I think Betty should be fine, right? <laughs> Dang it! Fuck. It's okay because like he's basically being baited. Yeah, there we go. See, they're they're getting baited. They're baited. They're baited. Yeah, go go on Axolotl. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna just like do this. I'm sure I'm sure Betty should be fine. I'm sure Betty would be fine, right? It's okay. He was the, he he deserved to die. <laughs> okay, there you go. See, there's the top hat. It's not, thank God it's not hard, isn't it? Yeah, we'll have fun, nerds. Don't worry, look at me. Master master tactician. <laughs> master tactician. Look at me, I'm so smart. They're so busy fighting that guy. <laughs> Holy shit! Why do you wanna fight my man? How the fuck did they Okay, they gotta answer me. They better answer me for this. That's that's what the fuck. Oh my god! Okay, they better answer me this. They better answer me this. I'm gonna talk to them. Why the fuck? Is this alligator teleporting to the same ass fucking turn when it's not their turn? Is this like okay? Do you <laughs> do you understand how bullshit that was? <laughs> like, is it defending? Is it defending that territory? I mean, might be. That's bullshit, though. Holy shit. Okay, I I'll I'll figure it out off stream, cause that that was big bullshit. I, see, this is why I hate that map. It's like straight up rigged. Whether it's like it's 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 an attempt to defend the fucking um fragment. Because I saw that fragment there. Like it's intentionally there, like it was there, and like the alligator just freaking moves back to the original place. What was that for? Hi! Hi, Sharon! Hello! Hi! Thank you so much for the raid! I hope you had a good stream! Hi, Sharon! It's a real Florida gator. Whoa, dude. Okay, so, um... Because I haven't... I haven't been doing this often. There we go. There we go. Sharon is like sh they're a comfy streamer. I I like Sharon. Thank you so much for rating Sharon. I'm so sorry you caught me in a very like <laughs> I got I got so peeved. <laughs> like it was such a bullshit turn. What the hell was that map? Okay, listen, that map has an infinite freaking spawn. It's an infinite reinforcement map. The The boss moves at the same turn as you the moment you step into the fucking barrier. 
You're like what? Like what? Like okay, I'm just like guys. Can you give me? Can you give me one more try? It's not me. I don't care about battle anymore. If whether battle dies, I don't really give a damn. But um, if legit, if every turn that I take towards that um shard is the the alligator basically teleporting to every step that I that I go, then I guess it's scripted to be used only that that shard is only accessible when there's a crystal. If it's not and it was just like straight up bullshit, then I will definitely raise this as a ticket to the devs. I don't know why that happened. It wasn't like that in the in the, like in the previous versions it wasn't like that. So I guess you understand my even my my my, my surprise that it it became like that. Like what? Also, no no problem, Sharon. I'm really sorry that you caught me in a more like shocked. I I I was flabbergasted. Like what? Okay, one more try cuz nah -uh. nah. -uh. What was that? Nah. -uh. Okay. Not that. Oh my god. Oh uh, no, I replaced it. I guess it's like, oh, I guess not. Ugh, that's so sad though. John Wick alligators, I guess. Hold on, load. Let me load. Does it does it safely load if I load this? Okay. Wait, what? Wait, what? Load. I can't load Act 3. Yeah, okay, I can't load Act 3, basically. It's it's broken. Number 1 is broken. I, I, I need to erase this as a ticket, not gonna lie. <laughs> like, okay, I, I, I basically... Erased my, my save... Because, um... You know, SRPG thing, it's not their fault. But the but the, the but that act was broken. I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of I'm kind of like I don't know what to say. Like oh my goodness, that's uh, uh, okay. And l listen to me, guys. Okay, it's it's not really me. Um, I hope that I don't come across like criticizing the game, but like I don't understand why that act is so strange. Like it you like literally the joke item. That you like you use or not use it basically um you're struggling to um play the play it again as a save but um and and the alligator just like literally teleports towards you at the same turn and beats you up which is like um I'm I'm not sure why is why is that like I'm, I'm kind of confused. Um, I guess I'll deal with it fucking... I don't know. I'll deal with it next time. I'll, I'll deal with it off stream. I'll test it more and more. Because um, I, I don't wanna... If it's a, it's a very... If, it, if it's a very... Um, like, it's only... To me, like, it only acts towards me. Because, like, I'm, I tend to, like, um, reset a lot. If it's, like, um... What do you call that thing again? Like, um... An isolated case. There we go. If it's like an isolated case, then I'll definitely... Um... Just nudge them that it, it's happening and they could just like, you know... Don't take it as a... As a... Necessary to do it. But if it's something that you can replicate no matter what... Then I'll probably... Um... Hopefully that they would um do a hot fix about this one. If not, well, that's fine too. It, you know, making games is hard, so it's not really you know it's not their obligation to you know to comply to what I said. Okay, well, we'll just like go to Act Four. You know, pretend that pretend that things happened. The soft light from the crystals act like a self to guide up the strange cave system. Altair and Magni still has no idea what's going on. Where they are and what purpose this strange place serves. 
Still, finding their teammates is their highest priority. Despite their latest slime friend that they found a few hours ago. Carrying the slime on his arms, Altair is in high spirits, while Magni can't stop thinking about this place. Tell me, Altair. Doesn't this little guy here look awfully l a lot like your alt venture at the guild? It's attached to you like glue. It feels different though. My alt ventures feel a bit warmer and their squishiness also feels different. There's a difference between squishiness, really? Why am I not surprised that you of all people know everything about slimes? Altair laughs, making the slime wiggle on his arms. Then, they, bo they both fall quiet as they hear strange noises. Did you hear that? Yep, loud and clear. Awfully sounds like those owls are goblin near our guild. Sometimes you can hear them passing us. Shh. Magni shushes his guild leader, pressing his finger against his stuff. Oh, you're driving me crazy, dog. Ah! My ship. Just then, three goblins pass by without noticing them. Phew. That was close. Too close for my tastes. Mm hmm Tell me about it. I'm sick of the I'm sick of this dungeon. <laughs> Tell me about it. Magni peeks at after the goblins, noticing something about them. Hey, uh Altair? Hmm? What is it, Des? Those goblins there. They have the same crystals on their bodies as the ones on the walls. Do they? They look they do look familiar. And they also look weirdly corrupted, staticky. Yeah, just like on the floor where we found Squishy. Speaking of him, he seems to be very unaffected by them. Any clue that might be possible? Magni looks at first. Magni looks first at the slime and then back to the goblins who are screeching at each other. Also, thank you so much for the hydrate redeem, Drunken Pond. Thank you. Sorry about that. I, I'm not really sure if you guys saw me like struggling on Act 3. Okay, listen. All of these maps are nothing too serious. But if there's like straight up bullshit tree going on, then I'm gonna be... Ooh. I'm very upset. <laughs> like, okay. The Act 3... Okay, I, I, I'm not sure if you were there. But Act 3 has an infinite... Um, reinforcement and then there's a status once you go down and that's fine I think that's very common in in um, Fire Emblem but when the boss moves to where you are at the same turn as you like literally it, it had like mov 30 as a unit during the same period, just like basically it it walks towards you as you go to that specific um tile or you know like a checkpoint. And I guess that's fine. I think the boss can do whatever he wants. But if it's like the same turn that he basically goes to my specific area and then I get nabbed from behind, then that's kinda like okay, like what is the devs telling me? Like, am I not a? I'm not. Am I not allowed to go to that um, area? Like, is it scripted to be that way, or is it something that's um a bug? Because, like, okay, the one thing also that has that I've noticed is if you save the game and you did not use the joke items basically crashes that specific act like you can't load that save no matter what the moment you overwrite that specific area like you for say um you traded items with a joke item that was in the inventory it basically does not register in the game like it's just blank which is um i'm not sure why the, the parameter caused that way is it because that they were already used beforehand or it's just because like um the the item itself is not supposed to be in other people's hands i'm not really sure 
I will keep debugging that specific act because I'm because I don't want to put them too much work whether if it's an isolated case or not. If it's an isolated case, like I said, like um I'll I'll just nudge them. I don't I won't put too much importance about it because I'll be honest, nobody does that unless they do it accidentally. L unlike me who's kind of thorough, I I would say, when it comes to like video games, I I tend to like um bug test a lot and I also like see if um I actually like the first time that this game was released, um I actually tried to bug test specific um I would say scenes during my first playthrough. Um some of the bugs that I did raise uh did I did raise did get fixed but th this one is pretty new all of the new stuff that i see is basically um not i'm aware of that's why like i'm kind of i'm that shocked like i'm i am part of the team making this game but not really to the actual like you know development other than writing for some specific item but had I known, I guess like, I should have bug tested more, I guess. But I didn't want to like, you know, maybe somebody is already bug testing and I don't want to like overload the 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 team itself cuz we're we're pretty small team, that's why. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> Magni looks at Magni looks first at the slime and then back to the other goblins who are screeching at each other. After a moment of thought, the alchemist shakes his head. Can't tell you that, bud. This whole dungeon here is a mystery to me. There's so many puzzle pieces that don't fit together, no matter how I twist and turn, turn them. Altair looks down at his slime companion and then looks at the alchemist with a frown. I know that face, and my answer is no. Huh? I didn't say anything. You stared at those crystals on the walls. You won't touch them, and you definitely won't take them with you. Got it? Hey, get out of my head, Altair. Ooh, they're... They're bantering. Oh, <laughs> oh they're bantering. Ooh. Sorry, I'm, I'm also like a bit of a Fujo. I'm a Fujoshi. So... And the, these two are my favorite ship. Don't tell them, though. Shh, shh, shh. <laughs> don't, don't look. No, nothing wrong about redundant in my reporting since you don't know it would be... Actually redundant. Yeah, that's true too. Should be quiet, Des. Oh, look at them. They're being D Damn it! The cookie! <laughs> ah! I swear whoever wrote this, they're thinking of me. Just kidding. Slash J Slash J ha, slash H J. <laughs> oh, I love them together. They're so cute. Anyways, um I guess I should have done that too. It's just like um I'm I'm just a writer, okay? That's the thing. But also because like maybe I'm also a part of it. I should have like maybe tried more debugging. But like I said, not everyone does this. Like not everyone does this. Like the thing that I do, not everyone does it. Like some people just don't give a damn and just like move on. But like I'm a loot goblin. When I see chests, I will get it. And I'm pretty stubborn. I will get those items. Like, I don't know. I'm pretty... I'm pretty... I'm not a completionist by any means. I'm just greedy when it comes to like in-game stuff. If I see an item that I can get, like... In Fire Emblem, okay? There are items that can be dropped by enemies and it, it's kind of highlighted as a green item. And if I see it, no matter how hard it is, I will try my best to like cheese it. Or try my best to like, you know, um, figure out on how to steal that item. Or just like, you know, just stab it with a with a thief class. I don't know. That's the thing. I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty greedy like that. And I'm pretty just like peeved that I couldn't really like get all of them. I'm pretty sure that's the intent of the game, but come on. Teleporting teleporting boss at the same turn. No way. Even I'm 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 shocked, like what the hell? How could they do this to me? 
I miss Magni and Vesper. I miss them too. I miss mom. I miss Magni. I miss Magni. I miss mom. I want to cause as little ruckus as possible. Ow! Sharon! <laughs> Sharon, no! You threw a box at me. <laughs> I want to cause as little ruckus as possible. Who knows what monsters might live here? Besides, I, when I want to drag you at, ugh. besides, when I had to drag your ass away from those crystals, my arm reacted. I'm worried for our guildmates, and I'm gonna do everything I can to bring us all together again and out of here. That was fun. <laughs> you think so? Yeah, I. You guys are you guys are free to throw me things. I think it's it's fun too. Like. I think that's my favorite part of the redeems is like throwing shit of, towards the the VTuber. <laughs> I don't know. Until then, we stick together, all right, Des? And when you find something strange, you tell me. Yeah, yeah, I got Altair. The alchemist tufts, taking his fan brace to itch his arm. <gasps> He's turned into a fucking crystal! He stops still for a few moments as he observes his revealed skin. <gasps> Yanni! The skin has turned blue with crystals that grow in a manner similar to the scales of a dragon. When he pokes it with his finger, the crystallized skin feels odd oddly rough. The alchemist swallows, clenching his teeth. So, that uneasy feeling in his stomach wasn't for nothing. When Altair pipes up, his first instinct is to replace the Vambris, acting casual. Des, you good? The angst! The angst yaoi! It's so there! Oh! Oh! Oh, the angst! Oh, the yaoi's! God dang it. Also, fun fact, it's, it's, it's just me being delusional, okay? <laughs> it's not canon! Time to do some work. Have a good rest of the stream. Thank you so much for stopping by, Rhino Rampage. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yep, everything's good. Don't worry. Just a bit tired. That's all. Oh, no. Magni is half expecting to be caught in his lie, but Altair doesn't seem to catch it. Much to his relief. He doesn't need to burden Altair with more worries right now. Those crystals on his skin can wait. No! Talk to him! Talk! Talk to him! Don't turn into a crystal! Ooh, why would why, why, why would you No? It's always like this, like, oh, I didn't want to burden you, and then when when the death flag happens, it's a preventable death. No! No, don't leave me. Another group of five goblins walk past them, carrying something red over their shoulders. Altair frowns. Doesn't that look awfully familiar to you? That's Fleance. It's one of his control panels. Wah! Right. But where's Fleance? The guild leader carefully ventures forward, his comrade falling close behind. As they follow the group, they see a makeshift camp, houses built from all kinds of material. Rocks from the walls, some dead wood, and some skeletons. And now one of Lion's panels, which becomes a makeshift roof. They made a they made a house out of Lion's fucking panels. Arcturus, no. I, I kind of forgot what he called those panels. I do know that his his mecha is Ar um, Arches, but I'm not really sure if his panels are named. I kind of forgot. It's been a while. But I do know that he's more leaning in the fact that he's like two people in one body. Which is really interesting. It's not a spoiler for the game, but it's more like spoilers for the actual talent itself. If you guys don't actually um follow the lore for Tempest, basically Fleon is um I guess he's like in the same situation as with Battle and Phantom where he's basically... He traded his something to get power, I would believe. Because like, um, the original... I would say the, the original slash X. I would say X. I, I don't, he kind of is like an X, I guess. 
Um, he was basically just like a genius kid who feels empty because like, you know, like the golden child syndrome where he feels like he's perfect and then once he grew older, he's like, oh, he's not worth shit and then he's like, oh, you know what? I want to be stronger and basically, Flayon was born. Yeah. Yes, Drunken Pond, he's actually that. They're... Okay, so the, the, the theming of VG or Vanguard is, um, I guess it's like trading of something. Ooh. If you're curious, this is a lore added for his birthday his birthday stream. Um I think it's called Happy Birthday. I forgot what it's called, but um These are unlisted. I'm not really sure if the the birthday thing is unlisted, but Canis Mi Canis Minor is the other part of his lore. It's it's kind of made out of RPG Maker. And um, he did also have another lore video or lore explanation, I think, during his other, his second birthday, I believe. And um, Fleon is two two souls in one body, and I think the the source of it for you know that kind of separation is actually Chibitrus. I think it's kind of heavily implied. Similar with Phantom, um, Battle is basically, um, not the original Battle, I think. He was, um, I think he, he, he made a pact with Phantom and now Battle is the replacement of the original Battle. This is a lore that you pro you basically can find um, in his birthday stream also for Bedwell's part and then another one I think that was the August whatever it's called like I forgot the the date that basically the joke date that um Bedwell got pinned on so yeah there's a lot of lore in Tempest I don't know I like it so much that's why I I prefer you know playing or well, well you know watching and tuning with them because like they have they, they they actually do something with their characters that's why also i'll be right back i'm just like, gonna go to um i'm just gonna go you know do a little toilet break for a bit sorry about that i drank a bit i drank a bit of water that's why i'll be bye i'll be Sorry, uh, I had to. I had to do it now. It's like uh, I've been holding it in, and I thought I could, you know, but I couldn't. <laughs> I couldn't do it any longer. Okay. Um. So basically, Tempest lore, right? First and foremost, it's Altair. Altair was supposedly. He is what he. He is what he was. He's just like a hero, based out of the constellation Altair. Or you know, um, Aquila, but, um. Things changed. He's basically now a a demon lord turned hero, secretly, and um, he's basically surrounded with slimes, and that's basically it. He did had a remnant of his former um lore that he was inspired from, which is the Aquila constellation, but since you know it didn't pan out. Or he didn't really like um manage to find something to work with it. He basically strayed away and just became like the demon lord that we know. Um Axel Axel is just like Axel. He 
Surprisingly, there's not a lot of like lore changes other than the fact that um there's an implication of like Isekai like he got Isekai to Elysium as well, but it's more of like his casual outfit that does imply it, but I'm not really sure if it's applicable also in his um regular outfit. So do, please do do take this as a grain of salt, even though it is canonical. It's more like a what if, I guess. Like, it's like an e AU, I would say. For Magni... Oh, man. Magni has a lot of lore to unpack. I think... I'm not sure if you're also um, a Magmite. But basically... Uh, he is a clone of his former self. And the final clone, I think that was one point zero magni he started wearing glasses because he was starting to degrade his health but um the newer magni i believe um it's 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 more like a fill in the blanks thing like for us since um he just debuted into 2.0 and then he kind of graduated but um for like, in my head canon, I would say, he basically started to break the the cycle, I would say. And he stopped being an alchemist and retired. Wait, is he Cagliostro? He kinda is. Um, except, uh, Magni stopped his alchemy job, basically. Like, he, he probably, um... Just decided that it wasn't for him. Like it, he, it's not for like it's it's he's not up for it. But um, canonically, uh, Magni is still alive at least, um, according to Altair. That is, that he's just there uh, as a as a bystander now, not a part of Tempest anymore. But they do still hang out, as you know, as apparent on his tweets that he, they do still hang out. Yes, it's it's not me um, making shit up. At least um, that part is basically canonical. But the thing that I'm just bullshitting through or just headcanon is him um, retiring as 2.0 Magni since he wanted to break the cycle. That's my headcanon. But some people also believe that um, it the 2.0 is just like a fever dream and he, and 2.0. Uh, 1.0 is the actual Magni and he never he never got resurrected back again. He's just like dead dead. I don't know. That's mostly the headcanon parts. There's no more there, there's no more other lore other than Alchemist's prologue, which is um every single Tempest members were actually schoolmates. It's just like they never crossed paths until um Altair decided to create the guild. That's also a good take. Because um in Alchemist Prologue, I think it's safe to share it anyways because like it's just like snippets. Um he is he was working on it. Um during his like um university well not university, like academy days, I mean. Oh, man, thinking about like the lore that Tempest made is so cool. I do know that they're basically on a on a limbo right now, like they don't know what to do with their own lore. But um they did have a lore voice back just recently and I haven't really listened to it yet because I got too busy with other stuff. But there's a lot of good things out there. Tempest is very leaning to doing lore now. So yeah. Anyways. <laughs> I need to stop dilly-dallying. I should keep going. Where did they find that? Maybe we can capture one alive and force it to talk? I have ways to do that. Yeah, he does. He has a syringe. Just as the hero turns to Magni, he's distracted by a larger crystal at the camp. Together, they dare to venture a bit closer, trying to get a good glimpse of that crystal. Holy crap, it's a huge one. I wonder what made it so huge. Uh, eh? Altair observes something unique at the foot of the crystal, pointing at it. Fuego, no! There's someone there. A human. Wait, that's Fleon! Fleon? He's here? At this camp? Shoot, that's him. 
They must have found him and dragged him here and dragged him here. It is indeed Fleon, who rests on the ground, his wrists tied behind his back and his eyes closed. He has a few bruises on his head. Altir can't tell if it's from the fall or the goblins. But he knows he has to act quickly. Who knows how long Fleon has been near that giant crystal. What if it's dangerous? Grabbing Magni by the wrist, he marches forward. Let's go, Des. We need to get him out quickly. No time for a plan. We can't handle this. Quick today, eh? Sounds fine to me. Let's get him out of here. Yeah, this is- I think this is way more easier. Okay. Hmm. I would try and beat this map, but I really want to test out Act 3 more. And I think we've been almost going for like four hours now. I think it's a good place to uh, it's a good place to save. Okay, I'm gonna save it here. If it's just like straight up impossible, then I'll definitely like um, I'll put it on file thirteen then. Um, but I will try to figure out Act Three, and I'll probably send a recording on how to do that. Because, like, I'm not gonna sit there and just, like, you know, beat, be, you know, get beat by the actual game itself. Nah, uh But yeah, I guess it's, it's a good place to end, I guess. I think we're very close. Once I figure out Act 3, I think everything should be smooth sailing. I don't think I had a lot of issues with the map so far, so yeah. How, how, how do we leave again? I guess we just like have to exit the game. Okay, there we go. I mean, I do apologize that I, I, I yapped and then I just basically ended it because like I thought of it while I was like um talking like if I was gonna bug test act three more then there would be no use for me to proceed to the next chapters if I didn't get some of the items that I wanted, so... I'll definitely send a recording. At least, you know, to show that, oh well... It's possible. But... It's just the fact that, um... A lot of that map is very... Strange, I would say. I do know that part of it is a skill issue. But also some of it is, like, straight up bullshit too, so... You know... Like... <sighs> I can deal with what's happening on that act. It's just the fact that um the boss teleports to where you are when you're near a specific checkpoint, which is I don't know. It's the same turn too. That's the thing. It's like the same turn. The moment yet that you move, it will move too. Even if it's not like enemy's turn, that's the thing. I don't know if it's intentional or not. But yeah, anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for um, watching. I do know that it it might be more of a... Um, how would I say? A bit slow? I think I did do pretty good with Acts 1 and 2. But 3 is just a bit of like um, a bump in the road, I guess. But yeah. I'll definitely show you guys the progress. And see if it's mostly... I guess I'm not sure if I have to like verify some game files if it's the issue. If not, well, I'll definitely send this into a ticket to the staff. Because I'm also a part of it too, <laughs> I guess. So yeah, um... Thank you so- thank you guys so much. I definitely will make it more of a smooth sailing stream next time. No more, no more, no more, um, complaining, I guess, but I kind of want to get the good ending too, so that's why I kind of want to, like, get the, get the items. <laughs> yeah. Thank you guys so much, and let's see if we can actually raid somebody. Let's see if we can raid somebody. Mm, let's see if we can raid somebody. Ow! Junk up no! Oh my gosh, Pinky is still streaming? Okay, I'll I'll let's read to Pengi, okay? Pengi is one of um I would say friends. 
and they are currently doing pixel art with their viewers. So be nice to Pengi, okay? Don't be mean to Pengi. If you guys are mean to Pengi, I'll bite you guys and I will share curry rice with you. <laughs> so yeah, um, have fun and enjoy the stream. Bye bye. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Let me change to the. Let me change to this um, end screen. There you go. Bye bye. Bye bye. That was fun. Oh my gosh, that was extremely fun. I I tend to I, I just yap all the time. Oh my bad. My bad. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time. And there will be more surprises as well because. There's another project that's about to be released soon. Oh, I'm so busy nowadays. I'm so sorry for not streaming often. But I'll definitely, I guess, um, fix it. Oh, raid message that just say uh lambda raid lambda lambda raid lambda raid. That's all. That's all. Lambda raid. Yeah. Yep, 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 that's it. Land the raid. Yeah, be nice to them, okay? Bye, guys. Bye bye. Hydrate and stretch. I'll definitely do that off stream. Thank you, Bane. I'll, I'll definitely do it. Bye bye. <laughs>